so stupid. <laughs> <laughs>
going to be rolling out with the puns a lot. And I'm sorry in advance because they're all going to be terrible. Um, <laughs> but hi, um, this is uh, not a face that you've seen on this channel before, but my name is Haley. And um, I don't know what I'm doing. I'll be honest with you. It's It'll be great. Once before is about a year ago. Oh, it was ages ago. Nobody remembers that. Well, we remember it. We love it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Anyways, but yes, hi, my name is Haley, uh, and this is a game of Our House. Um, it is, I'll let Sam talk about that in a moment, but a little bit of backstory on this. I made a shit post of a tweet um, a few weeks ago <laughs> um, <laughs> saying that I would really like to run this book a little game that I found on itch and happened to tag the creator of said game who then you know liked it and so I reached out and I said hey do you want to play and then it snowballed from there and I collected all of these really cool people to play a game with me and I'm very excited so to tell you a bit more about this fun little game I'll pass it over to Sam yes hi howdy hello um fun fact I didn't think anyone would ever play this game. I made this as a little filler thing um, for Lex. Uh, you might know them as a Titan the Mankey RPG. They're the Keltrop core person. Um, uh, so, so when somebody said, hey, I want to play this game, I was like, really? <laughs> and uh, in terms of what this game is, uh, as it was very aptly put by, I believe, Amber, this is Beetle juice the tabletop role-playing game essentially you are a ghost and, you, and and the living have come into your place of residence and they are harsh in your fucking vibes you gotta get them <laughs> out of here i don't know if we can swear on this channel or not but uh if we can't that's my one strike um <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming the stare means we can um and <laughs> And yeah, you essentially have three uh, stats in this game, those being physicality, meaning you can move stuff, uh, ambiance, meaning you can make noise, you can change the temperature, you can flicker lights and what have you, uh, and visual, like a full apparition of sorts. So yeah, uh, and essentially the living, who you're trying to drive out of the house, have what are called will points instead of hit points. So you just have to try to scare them uh, using your various frightful tactics. Uh, and when their will reaches zero, they flee the house. They, they run away because they no longer want to be in the house. Uh, and that's about it. I didn't put uh, too much thought into this. I am not a game designer, so we're going to see how this goes. I don't think anyone's played this before. Uh, so this might be the inaugural um, playtesting, even, <clears throat> of the game. Because I I didn't do that. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I'm really excited to play. Uh, if you don't know who I am, uh, my name is Sam Comerford. Uh, you might know me for um, role-playing and role-playing's shitty uh, ideas, tweets, uh, I do that. I run the ether log. I run Spontaneum. Um, I, I do way too many things. Uh, and I'm very excited to be here. Good stuff, yeah. And then just following the fun little circle that we have created. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay, so me? Yes. <laughs> hi, 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 I'm Chrissy. I, um, or Chrissy and Keller on most of the online spaces. I am in the Etherlog with Sam and our lovely Matt over there, over whichever way. <laughs> this one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and um, I also kind of just bounce around uh, to from table to table with different groups. Um, and yeah yeah i i yeah really excited to be here <laughs> i guess i'm next uh hi i'm kendrick <laughs> or kendo whichever you prefer uh i use they he pronouns you can find me everywhere on the internet at kendo makes films and you can find uh my my actual play uh, tales yet told uh on twitter and instagram at tales yet told and everywhere you get your podcast you can find my actual play live stream prayers in the static uh on twitch.tv forward slash nameless domain this friday at 7 30 p.m central time we're playing tech noir uh, me, my co-host Ibrahim, and uh, Sin at Bun's Bakery. Uh, uh, 
Is that correct? I always, yes, it is at yeah, Lunch yeah. Bakery. Thank you so much. Uh, and also Alyssa at A Disaster Queer, uh, both on Twitter. And I'm very excited for it. It's going to be a fun little cyberpunk mystery set in a future Texas city known as Alamo City. Uh, very, very excited. Uh, and that is all I have. Yeah. Perfect. Hi, everybody. I'm Amber, also known as the Space Jamber here on Twitch. This is my channel. Wow. What is that? Ah, wow. Whoa. <laughs> um, but also, um, I'm on Twitter and TikTok with the same name, uh, the Space Jamber. Um, I'm speedrunning to a thousand followers on TikTok, and I believe I'm at last I checked. Right, uh, fuck. Shut up. Seven seventy-seven. <laughs> <laughs> Angel number. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> amazing. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, so so follow me on TikTok uh, if you haven't already, because I'm trying to get that like sweet creator money. Anyway, so um, <laughs> anyway, um, I am also just like Chrissy, all over the fucking internet and all over the TTRPG space. Um, most notably, right now, I am one of the stretch goals for Eldritch Osiris's Osiris Games's. Uh, uh, Monsters Beasts, a guide to friend them, um, which is a Pathfinder compatible Pathfinder 2E compatible like monstrous guide, so that you can become the kind of monsters that you want to be and fuck, and also like have as companions or whatever. You know, there are monster fuckers on this call, actually. everybody. <laughs> But anyway, um, <laughs> if 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 uh, the the Kickstarter makes it to 10k, then we unlock my Gator Folk race, which is inspired by my upbringing in the Deep South. Uh, and um, anyway, uh, where else can people find me? On Friday, I will be at um, on Friday. I will be on um, Going Crit RPG, finishing up uh, Forever uh, Farewell Yellow House, our Call of Cthulhu game run by um, the lovely, the inimitable Josephine, uh, scary dog friend. On Saturday, holy shit, I am gonna be on two really crazy things. Um, I'm gonna be on the Why Your World Matters panel hosted. Uh, that's kind of like co-run by uh, Sage. Uh, oh my god, I cannot remember the names right now. Um, I want to say Steam Sage, and I know that's not right, but it's co-hosted by Double DM Pod. Um, and then, uh, fuck, um, on later that night on Saturday, I am co-hosting. I mean, sorry, I am in a one-shot revolver one-shot with um, D and D Five E, um, basically with Laura Nobo and TTRP gifts, and it's gonna be amazing. And then Sunday, if you're in the Baltimore area. Um, I'm gonna be hosting games at NoCon Beyond, um, and, you know, just come by, play games with me IRL if you want to. Um, and that's the most notable thing that's happening this weekend, so. <sighs> I'm gonna shut up now, Matt, take it over, please. You're so lazy. You're like, you like, do nothing out here. <laughs> I don't do anything. I'm not a Virgo. <laughs> what are you doing with your life? Jeez. Monster... <laughs> Fucker. Shut up. <laughs> That's disgusting. What website is that on? Um, <laughs> let me send that to you on Discord. If you, could, yeah, if you could DM me what websites those are so I don't never... That's awful. What I website is that? I think, I think the website is twitter.com slash dungeon glitch. Yeah. That's a, <laughs> oh. That is where you will find me. Hi, my name's Matt. Um... Yeah, I'm Dungeon Glitch, <laughs> primarily on Twitter, really everywhere. Instagram canceled my thing and then brought it back because I guess it was screwed up yesterday. So that was you fun. Got canceled? Yeah, and then no. it came back. I don't oh, understand no. it. Oh, no. <laughs> it, it got, it, yeah, it got deleted. My entire account got deleted what? when it came back. Like, so we, uh, it came back a couple hours later. God damn it, so, sucker. What? God damn it. Two hours. I don't know. It happened to Jeez. a bunch of people. So, yeah, Meta's is going down the drain. It's hilarious. You had to sacrifice so. it to get legs in the metaverse. That's why your account went down. <laughs> yeah, Basically seriously. The server power. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, Meta said, oh my God, everyone over pandemic hasn't had legs because they've all been on Zoom from like the chest up. Why do they want kids? <laughs> yeah, the AI that's, that spies on us, that's how they figured it out. Yeah. 
What are we doing? Right, the A. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm Matt. I'm Jim Firefly. I make nerdy T-shirts and mugs and blankets. I'm gonna do blankets this week. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, I make music. If you're into that sort of thing, lo-fi. Uh, actually, you're gonna hear some of it tonight. I think my uh, the album that comes out next week, next Friday. Um, yeah, Amber's been playing it for the last year. That's how that's how long I've been sitting on this album. <laughs> uh, and yeah, she has tracks. Well, yeah, you're gonna find tracks that I, I don't have on the album because they've been awesome about playing it all. So it's really fun. And um, yeah, what else? Oh, yeah, I'm on the Ether Log and I love it. And it's fantastic with Sam and Chrissy. Yay. Which uh, new a new episode comes out on Tuesdays. And if you listen to the last one, you'll find out why Mark Garkusha is so goddamn funny. <laughs> yeah, oh my. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's me, and I'm excited to play, because yeah, this is fantastic. All these people are amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Shout out to my mod in chat. Also, my one of my best friends for a long, long time in chat, just being like, hold on, let's put Dungeon Glitch, the, the, the chat command I have, so... She's on top of yes. it. She's the one I'm oh, marrying yeah. in three weeks. So, you know, shout out there. Oh, <laughs> oh dude, that's cool. Amazing. Yeah, she's, she's the best. Hey, and finally, <laughs> Haley, talk about yourself and then we yes. dive into this game. How exciting. Yes. Hey, howdy, hi. My name's Haley. Again, I, I hate introductions. I'm so bad at this. I should have rehearsed you know, before doing this thing, this thing has been in production for like three weeks. Big shout out, by the way, production wise to Amber. They've been handling basically everything. You've been a gift in my life. Uh, I've been moving and going through insanity and yet this overlay, the ads for everything, hosting this stream. Thank you so, so much for all of that. But yes, so. I'm Haley. I uh, I do QTRPG things sometimes. Um, I am a cast member of Another Bad Side Quest um, that is no longer going live, but we are pre-recording now and it comes out every Friday. Um, so that will be coming back around next Friday. It's very exciting. We're hitting episode 61 and I'm stoked. Um, but yeah. So check that out at Another BS Quest on Twitter. Uh, if you'd like to find me in particular, I'm not sure why, because I just scream into the void and retweet NASA pictures. But if you'd like to see me more, I'm at Haley Ann on Twitter. Um, my name's spelled a little funky, so good luck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm great on the like, wait, can't you tell? It's a treasure hunt. Uh, hey! Figure it out for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I thought about Don't this. Find it. <laughs> oh, because Amber's the best. Anyways, but yeah, um, if you can't tell, I'm super nervous, mostly because uh, all of these people are fantastic creators, and I hold a great amount of respect for all of you. I've followed all of you for a while, and I think you're great. Um, so I'm really excited. This is going to be so much fun. So without further ado, the spooky mood is set. I know Halloween's past, but you know, scheduling is the bane of our existence as uh, people, but that's okay. It's still November. Christmas can fuck off for another week. It'll be great. Hmm? So true. <laughs> <laughs> the violent reaction from Amber with that was amazing. <laughs> that brought me life. Anyways. Oh, which is funny because we're all dead in this game. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> another bad fun. You can Anyways. be dead at any time of the year. That's the thing. Yeah. We just because we're all dead on, on the inside. <laughs> yeah. There yeah. we go. There it is. <laughs> okay. I wrote a little introduction because it makes me feel better. So, there are plenty of things you can learn about a home from its listing on any website. The style it was built in, what year it was built, the amenities and floor plan. According to one such site, the home we see now is a craftsman style house built in the early 1940s. It has been updated with air conditioning and modern fixtures, stainless steel appliances, but that is all like a glossy coat of veneer over the painting of a crime scene. What the websites can't or maybe just choose not to tell you is that this house has been the center of a string of tragedies. From floods to fires, death and despair, this house has a history that lingers. There are remnants here of lives long since past, echoes of the home's history that refuse to remain quiet for long. 
The Morellis are the newest in a long string of hopeful families that try to make this house their home. Michelle Morelli has been in the real estate business and she wasn't going to let a few spooky stories scare her off of a good deal in a great area, but there are a few spectral inhabitants that might have something to say on the matter. Speaking of our gaggle of ghouls, why don't we go around and introduce our ghosts? Oh God! Wait, am I am I up? Okay. Uh, you spoke first. Wait, you you oh, broke no. the silence. Wait, no, that's a, <laughs> you played God. yourself. I played truly really dead. <laughs> um, all right. My name is Archibald Drake. I'm an oil man, or at one point I might have been. You see, I've been dead for over a century now, and people continue to come into my house. I don't like it very much. This is my place. This is where I lived. And they have the gall to come in here and disrupt my slumber. I'm not a fan. That's all I got. Amazing. I'm already in love with it. Amazing. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, oh, hi. Hi. I'm, I'm Clara, and um, I, I'm seven. And I, you know... I, I think I I think I, I I got really really sick one day and then all of a sudden I I, I was I was kind of stuck here, and I, like this is my house. I mean I, I guess I don't mind sharing with the handful of people that are here with us, but like it's getting pretty crowded and it's kind of annoying. And so I I just I don't want anybody else to join us. And um so yeah yeah, kind of frustrating. Claire, it's okay, darling. I mean, I'm just glad that we finally got reunited back in life. I mean, back in death. Uh, I'm I'm Marie. I am Clara's older sister. Actually, her older twin, technically, by two minutes, but it's fine. No one, I mean, but really, it was tragic when we lost her. Um, you know, in life, you know, you, when you have a twin, you have that one person that gets you no matter what, and who, who always understands you. But, you know, if, when, when she passed, when that darn old Spanish flu went through, uh, you know, I felt like a chunk of me left. So I turned to, you know, the finer, the finer things in life. And in my young age, I, you know, you know, I, 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 I dabbled in some, some gin. I dabbled in some what have you, but it made me, you know, one night I just went to a gin joint and just didn't, uh, I just wasn't looking out for those newfangled Model Ts, you know, and, uh, it, well, it put me out of my misery at least. But, uh, and you got to join me again. And I got to see my sweet little Clara again, <laughs> where we've been for the last how twenty the hundred years. Yes. Yeah. If you want, yeah. <laughs> I was just gonna continue no, please, the ASMR until no, someone please, said something. Please, be my guest. Be my guest. You know, I just man, you want to party, with Mr. Green? It's it's really like the whole. You know, I came in here and it was all busted up, and you know, I lived here for a couple of years while it was all busted up, and. We threw all kinds of awesome parties, and I want to keep that party going with what we got here, and none of these new people, because they don't, man, all these, <laughs> they don't get it. Anyway, yeah, if you're looking for something, I can probably get it for you still. <laughs> <laughs> when was Mr. Green alive? Yeah. Mr. Green is a drug dealer from the 90s. <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> yes! Love it. <sighs> <laughs> uh, yo, what up? Um, uh, name's B Dog. Uh, I uh, I don't know. I'm just a dude. I was living, doing my thing, you know. Uh, was like kind of in between 
jobs if you like if you get it like i had some stuff that i was working on and like i had i had would have taken off would have been fine but you know freak storm tree fell through the roof you know i guess uh i i couldn't really plan for it you know i just look i it doesn't matter it's done um i had been following one of the older like people who used to live here they went to therapy and like i you know after being here for like a year or so like what else you know what else am i gonna do you know and you know i'm starting i was following and it was a good ass therapist you know really really sad things don't work out between them but like i really got a lot out of some of the things that they were saying and i'm really just trying to make sure that the space that i'm in is really serving me you know if that makes sense like making sure the vibe is right making sure good energy and like positivity and like all of that good stuff is here and like these new people i don't know you know gotta say they're absolutely harshing the vibe uh exactly you get that exactly yeah no because yesterday they went through and a bunch of these big dudes came in and they were just throwing boxes around. Now there's boxes everywhere. And from what you can see in some of the boxes, this family doesn't have a good vibe. It's a whole lot of like, you know, urban outfitters, like really basic, kind of like white suburban mom furniture, um, the wicker they decorations a, and that kind of thing. They have a live, laugh, love sign. Oh no! <laughs> It's, it's Paw Patrol. I don't know what that is. What is Paw Patrol? <laughs> Propaganda is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> and super sexist. Copaganda. Super sexist copaganda. Seriously. The dogs are sexist? We gotta get them out of here. We gotta get them out of here. We gotta get these dogs out of here. Yeah, I have not heard this. <laughs> There was a whole, go. I, think, I think I saw it on TikTok how they treat the like one or two female characters, especially like in merch and stuff. Like they, they don't have as much and they're usually like in the background and then they don't talk very much on the show or they're often like a damsel in distress character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do there, they there was a whole breakdown. the dogs in the kids show? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, no, sexist. Oh, they just don't pass the Bechdel test. Like the <laughs> They're only ever talking about that cop dog. Exactly. Allison Bechtel definitely created the Bechtel. Well, she didn't. <laughs> oh, oh, Paw Patrol doesn't we need to get the, dogs the Bechtel out of here. test is the perfect name for a ska band. That's, <laughs> that's, like, that's like a premiere album. That's that's episode two of our house is, is we're yeah. finding <laughs> Alison Bechtel's house as she's writing, Are You My Mother? Like, <laughs> wow. Oh, God. This oh is what this is like. Um, <laughs> yeah. So. I get these dogs out of here, gotta get the signs out. Yeah, fuck these dogs. Exactly. <laughs> And so it's the next morning and you've kind of been poking around these boxes and trying to figure out who these people are when the door opens on a bright Saturday morning and in walks a family of four. Well, David, you know, it, it was a great deal and the mortgage will be fine. So I just think we can we can just write it out. It doesn't even have to be a permanent home, but I, I really think this could be our forever home. A tall, uh, pear-shaped woman walks into the house first. She has a very confident stride, and she's wearing the weird kind of, like, this is a person who is a very professional woman, and she doesn't really know how to dress down. So it's the jeans and a nice top and impractical shoes, considering that you can guess they're going to be unpacking today. And following behind her is a skinnier, kind of a string bean of a man with uh, big round glasses. He goes, yeah, Michelle, I, I'm, I'm sure it'll be fine. It, it, it's just, you know, I did look at the crime reports on this house and I'm pretty sure there was a murder in here at one point. They can't lie to you about that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> following in 
behind the parents are two boys. One is uh, taller and clearly a teenager going through the roughest of emo phases. All black, the swooped hair. There's eyeliner there and you know it. It's slightly smudged at the corners, although you can tell he spent a lot of time on it. And behind him is a much smaller boy, probably close to around eight. And he has um, his hand deep into one pocket, clearly holding something. And he follows in and he's looking around and just amazed by everything that's around him. Very wide-eyed and cute. But the family begins to kind of disperse around the house and the parents are directing the kids towards, okay, make sure to unpack the kitchen first. Don't worry about the living room yet. Make sure that your clothes are out and we'll be uh, making sure that all the sheets get onto the beds before tonight. Yes. Can I can I call a ghost meeting in the attic for the ghosts? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, you can. Okay. Sam, describe to me how Archibald would call for a ghost meeting. Hmm? Yeah. So I think what happens is that um, there's there's like an old bell that's like been in the house forever. You know, it's like one of those antiques. You know those. You know the things that like come with a place. Like <laughs> that shit's kind of creepy. Uh, yes, yeah. it's one of them. Uh, it's like a kind of a door opener thing that's been a part of the house uh, in its many iterations, uh, and it's used uh, when you hear that bell. It, it's a ghost meeting. It calls the ghost meeting, uh, and as a senior ghost of the house, uh, Archibald feels like it is his. Um, responsibility to sort of conduct these things. I don't know if anybody respects him or not, but <laughs> he feels that that is his right as the senior ghost. Uh, so that's why he does. He rings the bell and uh, apparates into the attic. Who's the first to show up? <laughs> oh, that's the question, isn't it? He's, he's, he's doing his, his ghost pipe. He's, 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 <laughs> as he's contemplating out the window, Mr. I Green. Wish I had. Oh, get, get, get. <laughs> I wish I had some more of that ghost cocaine. It's been a minute. I really could use some. I'm tweaking right now. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Green enters. He's like, yeah, no, I, I hear that. He's got a, he's, he's got a, he's got a pipe of his own, but it's very different. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's it, it's like he made it out of like <clears throat> a bottle and a Pez dispenser. So uh, <laughs> he's like, yeah, well, you know, Coke back Amber, then wasn't my really love. A... We cannot hear Amber, you. Cannot Sorry, hear you. Uh, I muted because of the jingling of the ice in the glass. Mm. Um, so is this is this a bong? Is this like a water tobacco <laughs> pipe, or is this like a meth pipe? <laughs> <laughs> you have a crack pipe? <laughs> it was uh, it was originally a a fancy weed pipe, but it has been used for crack and then turned back into a weed. Oh, pipe. okay. Oh. It's, it's Versatile. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so you wow. got a little bit of flavor on the extra hits. So yeah. <laughs> uh, just a little bit of Twitch spice on me. there. <laughs> a little bit of a. Ooh. Yeah. Take the edge off. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think. I think B Dog was already up here. I think I think there is like an old discarded like no, actually no. This is one of the new things that the family has brought in. Uh uh It's like a bean bag, I think. It's just like yeah, it's like so <laughs> it's a bean bag someone had around. It's like, "Oh, we don't want to throw it out. We might want this eventually." So it's just kind of tossed up here. And B Dog's just like slumped in it. It's like, uh... ah, yes, my compatriot, B Hound, how are you? <laughs> I hope you're doing splendid on this fine day. Vibes could be better. Ah, yes, vibes. I'm going to be completely straight with you. I don't know what that means. It's like, uh,. I don't, I don't know what you old people were into. Like, uh, oil and oil? copious amounts of cocaine. No, what? <laughs> Anything to keep the ghosts out of our bones, you see. It's quite unhealthy. Y'all were some, on some other shit. Leeches in the blood. Uh, what? I don't, okay. 
I no wonder you died. I'm just gonna say that. Uh, this isn't. A, this isn't. A, I guess everyone eventually dies, but you especially. You that makes sense. It makes sense. Um, the vibes are off. I don't know. I don't know what to tell. If the vibes are off, it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good. Hmm. I do find the live, laugh, love side a little patronizing, considering we all are um, dead. It is a little. It does feel weird. It yes. does. It feels a little insensitive. Yes, I. I don't and, like the vibes. And and that boy, that boy, he picks his nose and he puts boogers on the wall that used to be. Well, I mean, it's still it's my room. I stay there. And now now it's covered in his boogers. The least he can do is eat them. What a oh, vile little ball. what a vile little booger boy. Disgusting. Yeah, I think I think um Marie is the last one to show up. Just, you know, that's how 16 year olds are. They just never. They arrive exactly when they mean to, and not in the wizard way, but in the like annoying little shit way. Um, yeah, and so as like y'all are talking about boogers and white mom bullshit, she's like, oh, yeah, like. Oh, wait, hold on. Not, not the disaffected emo voice. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I saw, I took a peek in like in uh, Michelle's liquor cabinet, and oh my god, it's extremely weak shit. I mean, pink wine? Who drinks pink wine anymore? I mean, that's not gonna get you fucked up. I'm sorry. Hmm. Yes. That's well, for babies. Yes. Oh, does no. that mean I can have some? No wrong kind of baby. You can have beer. Beer is for children. Oh. Okay. Yes. Yes, it's I good for you. It, how did anyone stay alive? They used to just drink straight opium back then, man. It's a lot. I know my drug history, right? I don't... I'm gonna be... I don't... I don't get how you were alive at um, any point. I mean, it was the 20s, baby. We did everything. Do you think it was called the Roaring 20s because we just sat at home and twiddled our thumbs? Fuck no. I got fucked up on so much absinthe. I followed that green fairy to the end of the block and back. There's fairy? She's hot as hell, by the way. I don't, I don't understand these 1920s that you speak about. In 1899, it was a little different, you know. Back when there were still gunslingers and oil men. That was a good time, yes. What are we doing about these people? What are we doing? I'm sorry, what are we doing about these people? We should run them out, make them so afraid that they leave and never come back. And when they become warm food, they will not join us. Mr. Green, do you have any of your friends still around? Um, maybe if some of the walls. I mean, I know they took some of it out for the copper before it was foreclosed on, but um, they I, found some. I, you know, I bet we could find some of the. Uh, you know, I meant some, people. Get jiggy with. <laughs> maybe the. You know, otherwise, maybe, you know, take a chill pill. Do you have any ideas? Well, I thought about breaking all of the kids' toys. That sounds fun. I just want to go break all- can I break all of their stuff? Surely, like, if we're trying to kick them out, it doesn't matter. I'll, I'll start with the live, laugh, love sign. Oh, Maybe yes. that'll be a hint. Destroy uh -huh. that immediately. Okay. I hate it. I hate to look upon it. It's pretty, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. I'm gonna sprint Actually, out yeah. of the room to go grab that sign, and <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> she probably also it. has one of those signs that says, "This mom runs on wine and Jesus." <laughs> we need to, she we're starting a bonfire does in now. the backyard. We're starting in this a household, we <laughs> yes. So funny story: the live, laugh, love sign was one of the first things Michelle put up. Uh, oh, she no. put it up in the entryway, up by the door, and she was very careful about it too she had a level and a ruler and like she got the pencil out to make sure it was even and it went up right next to the door she, she sounds like a she sounds like a pinterest mom 
She is a Pinterest mom. Absolutely, yeah. she is. Okay. She, but she's the kind that like can get it right, like not oh. like a really shitty attempt at Pinterest. Okay. You yeah. know how you see a Pinterest project and you're like, I could totally do that. Yeah. You do it and it's not the same. Yeah. Oh, sure. No, but she's actually good at them. Oh. So. <laughs> But yeah, so that sign is up on the wall. It is hanging up by a singular nail. I wanna jump up. I wanna grab it and I just wanna, is anybody around? I want them to see me through it. So I, I'm gonna wait till I see someone, preferably one of the children, but I'll go for the mom too. Cause I know it's gonna piss her off. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Well, the parents are trying to be smart and are unpacking the kitchen first. So you're in the entryway. There's a living room, but it's kind of open concept that leads into the kitchen. Um, Tommy has gone upstairs to his room because he's doing whatever he wants. But the little boy, uh, Caleb, is hanging out in the living room and he has pulled out a little Hot Wheels car and he's playing with that on the carpet. Okay. I, I want to throw it above his head. Oh, amazing. Go ahead and give me a physicality roll. Okay, okay, okay. I got a four. Nice. Okay. For those of you who are not in the know about Caltrop Core, which, how are you not? Lex is amazing and it made a great, easy game de designing system. Crazy. Um, but yes, so in Caltrop Court, you are rolling D4s, um, a one being absolute failure, a four being absolute success, two and threes are kind of mixed and lean in either the direction of the player or the GM um, as to what is going on. In this game, I do believe we're rolling with small pools of dice uh, where you can roll multiple dice and then you take the highest number that happens. So a four, absolute list success. This thing goes flying and it goes right past Caleb's head. And I mean, like skimming the top of his hair, you you frisbee chucked this thing across the room and it smacks into the wall. It's this little half wall uh, where a counter is over top. So it's supposed to be like a breakfast bar and it smacks that wall, leaving a small dent. And Caleb screams. <laughs> Amazing. So with that, Caleb screams, both of the parents come running back in. Caleb, get, what, 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 what happened? And he's just crying because of course he has no idea what just happened. But Michelle will notice. She instantly notices the one thing wrong in her domain and sees that this sign has gone from the front door all the way to the far end of the living room. Uh, that's weird. Um, okay. And she goes over to the sign. As you're watching her, obviously having your fun, even you can see she's trying real hard to rationalize how a sign ended up across the room. But she can't think about it for long because she's instantly angry because this sign has cracked, like, noticeably, and it won't be going back up on the wall. <laughs> Congrats. <laughs> Wow, Claire, you really gave that, you really gave that boy the heebie-jeebies, didn't you? I hope so. <laughs> you said the emo teen is alone? Yes, he is up in his room. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, but what's his room like? What's the, what's the uh, environment there? Yeah, so going up those stairs and into his room, he has a room on the far end of the hallway. So far, it's mostly boxes, but he is unpacking his stuff first because as teenagers are wont to do and never listen. Uh, he has a bed that is pushed up into a corner. He has a small uh, desk where he has already set up his computer. Um, he has a pretty intense PC set up, honestly. It kind of looks like something he probably put some time into building himself to some extent. Um, there are, he is currently putting up posters along the wall, and I mean like wallpapering the wall with posters. Oh, okay. One of those is going to fall over. Oh, amazing. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and give me a physicality roll. Yeah. Oh, four. Nice. Amazing. Oh, you guys are on fire tonight. Amazing. All right. As he goes to put up one of his many posters, one of the ones that is already up 
I mean, are you just smacking it off? Are you ripping it off the wall? Oh, I'm going for the long con. I'm going to keep taking down the same poster, like, really subtly, so, like, he thinks he's going crazy. <laughs> oh, my God. We're gaslighting the children. All right. <laughs> gaslighting an emo teen. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. No, so as he goes, it's it's a poster, and, it's, of course, it's a My Chemical Romance poster, obviously. <laughs> total self-insert here i just got to see my chemical romance a couple of weeks ago <laughs> yeah no yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. i hate you i'm jealous <laughs> i ooh, dream come true anyways so it's a my chemical romance poster it is a, a a classic helena poster and it just it, he's kind of only put it up with paint uh tape right now and so it's just the rolled up pa- uh, tape on the back side so we posted it up and you just kind of gently flick it off, and he looks over. And he goes over, he sticks it back up, and I'm not using new tape, but sticking it back up. And you just, like a cat, knock it down again. And he, he's in the middle of putting up a different poster. Just, what? And so he goes over, and he puts it back up. And he starts to mutter to himself about drafty old houses and this place is stupid and why is it so old and I bet nothing works here. And once again, whoop, he drops down again. He says a bunch of curse words that you know for a fact would get him in so much trouble. As he Happened then to goes- corporal punishment. <laughs> My God, kids <laughs> these days don't know when to stop. At this point, he goes over to his desk and he pulls open a drawer, opens it, gets out a stapler, and puts up the poster oh. on the wall and <laughs> slams it. I'll, I'll let him win that. Uh, is the computer on? No, it's currently off. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna turn the computer on. Of course, you're gonna, you're gonna fuck with it. Yeah, go for it. Um, um, is that another physicality roll? Or? That I think is actually ambiance if it's electronics. It is that indeed. I read that? Yes. So I'm gonna turn on go his, uh, his gamer pad. Uh, oh, that's a one. So probably not actually. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, it is way, 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 uh, way, way, way after your time. Yeah, really. I I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing with this thing. I'm just interested. (laughs) You don't know what a power button is? You don't know what power is? I don't know. You have electricity at that point. Hmm? Barely. (laughs) (laughs) You guys still thought it was haunted in the devil's work at that point. That is true. (laughs) Like the 5G towers of the past. Yes. Obviously works of the devil. Yes. You heard this DC stuff? I don't know about it. Electricity carries the devil's lies into your skin. <laughs> Stop it immediately. Yes. <laughs> when I think about circuits, I I just don't think about circuits. <laughs> so as he goes over and he slams the stapler against the wall, which you can hear Michelle shout, Tommy! Of course he doesn't respond. Well, you're busy with this contraption that he has on the desk that has funny neon lights and you go and you're you're poking around at it and you don't really know what you're doing you kind of put your hand through the console itself and just poke around and you get zapped you don't really know how a ghost gets sounds (laughs) you just got electrocuted (laughs) ow (laughs) That was quite painful. A little thrilling. <laughs> a little. I, I do have reminds a plan. Reminds you of a... <laughs> Ooh. Remind, reminds me of what? It reminds you of uh, a special kind of buzz that you get from doing fun things. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Parliamentary yes, inquiry. Right. What? <laughs> <laughs> I am also, I I'm also curious. I'm saying he's discovering some interesting things. <laughs> so you pulled like into Electroplay or some shit? Parliamentary <laughs> inquiry I was about to say again. that's exactly where my brain went. Yeah, I, was I was like, like oh, oh, do we share some king? <laughs> 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 
harsh about it. You're always learning about yourself. <laughs> Even in debt, like you that. know, it's never too late. <laughs> it's never too late to learn. I feel oddly aroused by this machine. <laughs> is this some sort of sex device? Why would a I, child have a sex device? No, no that's I'm not concerned. what it is. Just, but that's a computer. No. A computer? Yeah. What is that? I there is no analogy that I can make that would make sense to you. <laughs> uh, Imagine oh. if every book in the world were accessible in one place. Was that where you were playing that breaking breaking bad show? I remember watching that over your shoulder sometimes. <laughs> that was on my phone. My phone is kind of a computer, yeah. It's a kind of one of those things. I am just like that Walter White character. He is an oil man in a sense, is he not? Isn't that Walter no, White No, I character? think Mr. Green is technically yeah. closer <laughs> to Walter White than you are. As if, man. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Mr. Green, you are the Jesse to my Walter. Clearly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's actually as far off as I think that's close. <laughs> I'm okay with that one. Oh um, man, you're the, the... One that, <laughs> you're the one that broke my N64 when I was here. <laughs> yes, that was a horrifying contraption. It made bad noises. I did not like them. <laughs> they kept y'all. Kept, I mean, you all kept throwing that poor penguin child off of the iceberg. I mean, that wasn't necessarily fair to the poor penguin child, and that. F video hootsie This shit was so funny. Mario just water up, man. Yo, we used to go outside and the electricity, the electric company would turn the, the, the things off. And then we would just go to the box and turn it back on and they wouldn't check for months. Oh, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> and I'm just going to the floor. <laughs> what? <laughs> Okay, what is the plan here? Oh, I I, I have a simultaneous plan. <gasps> oh. I've, I've, I've got a bit of a yes. devious look. Um, when the power goes out, I want to take the stapler and staple all over the other posters. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Yeah, Mr. but I, I, want, I, I want I want Matt to uh, his thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you're dropping down to I assume to go find the breaker box, which is. Obviously, in a creepy basement, um, another great ghost hangout of some sort. I don't know. Um, my I don't know physicality how work. isn't great. It's 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 my secondary. So I'm gonna mm -hmm. see if I can lure the dad down to the Ooh. basement. Have him do it for me. Okay. So if I can just like make a trail of blinking lights that he has to follow to the basement. Oh. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, oh to get the blinking lights. Go ahead and give me ambiance. Yes. That's a five. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. So, both of the parents have returned back to the kitchen and they're muttering about moving, trying to figure out where, what to put in what drawers, you know, trying to figure out the layout of the kitchen and how they want to set it up. And you kind of just casually lean onto a counter, reach your hand up, and there's a light that's over the sink that they have turned on. And you just reach up and it just flickers rapidly. And you're just like, ah, yes, yes, yes. Good, good, good. Heck yeah. The dad does immediately take notice. He He's one of those fix it dads where like the moment he sees a problem, he's going to Home Depot, kind of a dad. And so he looks at the light and you just casually make your way through the house uh, leading this kind of breadcrumb trail of flickering light bulbs that he follows and goes, Michelle, didn't it, didn't they uh, say that all of the appliances, the, the wiring was replaced, right? Yeah, I, I mean, the house entirely burnt down in like the 30s or something. So, it, and I think there was something about um, a flood. I, I don't know. The wiring should all be replaced, at least within the last 20 years. He goes, uh, okay. And he keeps following these lights down into a basement door that he follows down and he goes looking. He does eventually find a, uh, there is the breaker box in the wall. There's a furnace down here, as well as a number of heavy duty shelving that are in place and bolted into the floor made for 
keeping things during an earthquake, that kind of stuff. So you lead him to that breaker box. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, so I do have physicality and maybe I can, maybe I can try to just mess with it. Totally, yeah, go for it. Yeah, you see Mr. Green when his ratty jinkos. Uh, oh, good. I rolled a four, so I have a five. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, so what are you hoping to do? What's, what's the goal? Um, I want to... Uh, I want to short so that all the breakers flip so that he has to go back and actually manually do them all. Gotcha. Awesome. Yeah, no, with that roll... All of them flip at once in a masterful display of spookiness. Every light in the house goes out, um, which we have been coming to <laughs> the end of the day. So it is very much dusk and everything goes dark. Um, Sam, this does activate your attempt at stapling yes. all these posters. All right. And, and Noah, did you want, want something? Um, I'm going to wait until uh all of the like until the dad goes back through and turns all of the lights on i want to appear in the same room as the mom um just like as the lights come on like be standing there uh <laughs> like <laughs> so good okay actually kendo i might have a power to help you out there because i also oh, wanted okay. to target the mom um <laughs> i have a power that's <laughs> going for her i love it um, I have a power called Insight of Spirits. You may attempt to learn information about one of your targets. Roll a d4. Um, on a success, you learn which type of skill they're most prone to. So, cool. yeah, I think, like, Marie's gonna, you know, Marie's definitely going to, to team up with you and be like, hey, baby doll, let's go ahead and fuck up this woman's world together, right? Uh, and with her inside of spirits. Ah, I got a three. You will learn. Not a perfect success, so I won't tell you exactly what she's prone to, but I will tell you, she's very good at rationalizing. She's just about anything she can explain away, she will. Flickering okay. lights, bad electrical. Uh, weird noises, there's a cat down the street or something. Okay. Perfect. Then showing up in front of like, there's no, literally, there's nothing you can do no, to rationalize without that. I'm like, <laughs> okay, no, I'm super down for this. Um, okay. Yeah. That's Lights right. are out. Sam, what did you roll for stapling? I got two fours. <gasps> two fours? Yeah. Amazing. Tommy's going to get wrecked. Okay. So in, he is sitting now at his desk and he's fiddling around with his computer again. And Sorry. as the lights, yes. My mic was muted. Um, <laughs> while they're still out, can I be in the little kid's room and can I be, can I like grab some of his crowns or markers or something and write just a simple get out on the wall? <laughs> you guys are terrors and I love it. I didn't, I didn't realize this would become Gaslight the game. Uh, I really <laughs> should have thought that far ahead. <laughs> That's no. what being a ghost is. <laughs> that's what it's Beetlejuice that's what... is. Ha have you seen like only half of Beetlejuice? Like right. that's that's yeah. what. <laughs> Guys like you keep robots, you know. Come out of your house. <laughs> okay, perfect. Okay, so two fours, lights go out. So this will be bullet time of what's happening all at once across the house. <laughs> so first, that stapler goes off like a machine gun. You have, <laughs> you pick it up and you just slam it against the wall multiple times. Tommy shrieks, like at the top of his lungs, voice cracking, shrieks because the noise is so insane. Um, he won't notice until the lights come back on, so we'll get back to that, but he is severely spooked. Um, Chrissy, go ahead for the crayon's physicality for me. And then, um, Kendo, I need you to roll visual. My best roll was a three. Okay. Still decent. Uh, yeah, okay. 
Ooh, Am I forgetting three. anything? Perfect. Okay. Okay. We have threes. So in the darkness, you have picked up aptly a red crayon and you go over to this wall. It's, it's cheap paint. Like it's not glossy paint. It's kind of a matte finish. So it's perfect for crayons. Mm -hmm. And you scratch this get out into the wall where there are points at which you have drug the crayon down so hard. It's kind of denting the wall. Like it's going to take effort to fix. As the dad opens this breaker box, kind of muttering uh, like dad curses to himself about what, what the frick frack. Yeah, it's, it's very, um, oh gosh, Will Campos from Dungeon Dads. He does it better. Can I make it smell like <laughs> weed down there too? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can. Yeah. <laughs> That was gonna, I was going to do well. that to a room at one point or another. Yes. <laughs> oh, yay. Great so minds. For ambiance, I have a, I have a six. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. So he's cursing, sniffing the air, wondering if it's a skunk. And then goes, oh, oh, it is. Tommy. <laughs> you just got his kid in trouble. Because <laughs> he opens up the breaker bo box is super confused because all of them are flipped, which is not supposed to happen. Flips them all back on at this exact moment in the kitchen. Michelle is attempting to put away the silverware into her drawer that she's very neatly organized with little bins from Crate and Barrel. And just in her kitchen, across the island from her. I mean, describe to me what you look like, you know? Um. So, uh, B Dog, uh, he's just like, he's a really just normal looking dude, right? He, uh, he's black with, uh, I'm imagining he's wearing, he's got like, uh, kind of like shaved hair, red beanie, mm -hmm. um, kind of beard, mustache, like very similar to mine. Uh, but he's like, like a taller, like almost kind of like lankier dude uh wearing like a black t-shirt and like a hoodie over it uh and like basketball shorts um and just like wearing crocs uh amazing <laughs> um, very necessary and, detail <laughs> uh <laughs> and so when the lights come up he just goes good evening ma'am uh before you do this whole freak out thing um my name is b-dog what's up Nice to meet you. So, not really, but um, <laughs> and it's like trying to feed off of like whatever like her initial reaction is to that. Yeah. Okay, Sorry. Perfect. <laughs> That's so polite. <laughs> That's such a good visual. <laughs> I've never in my life Hello, wanted fan art more. <laughs> uh, what is, yeah, what is her like initial reaction to this yeah. entrance of B Dog? She entrance of B Dog. <laughs> On a three, um, I'll say you absolutely are able to apparate yourself. The visual is very much there and you're kind of just lounging around and you're being very polite, trying to introduce yourself. All she hears though, is the weird screeching garble of <laughs> attempted words. <laughs> she kind of catches your name and a little bit, she got like the ma'am part weirdly enough, but like something towards the end there just turned into eerie screeches of the damned. Mm -hmm. And she, you watch her chest rise sharply as she takes in a breath that is in no way useful for gathering oxygen. And she shrieks mm -hmm. as she drops everything that she was holding silverware scatters across the ground and uh mr green from the basement david hears this and goes michelle and bolts up the stairs leaving the breaker box open uh think you're better than me because you got electricity in here bro <laughs> 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 Actually, 
this is where um, Marie wants to come in and create some kind of chaos. Yes. I want to create the illusion of like lipstick marks on his on his neck <laughs> while, from while he was down in the basement. Oh no! Roll for it. I don't know what you're rolling. Um, I, I was aiming for visual, just like the visual perfect. of it, because it's not real. Okay, it's not real. I'd Pretty love to boss. see her fucking uh, rationalize her way out of this one. Okay, that is two threes. So a three, okay. period. Perfect. So as he is running up the stairs, you kind of just gently brush your hand across the back of his shoulders as he goes past. And he shivers a bit because obviously that's freezing. We know how ghosts are. But he ignores it. He's way more intent about, you know, getting to his wife who just shrieked. Not to mention his son somewhere upstairs is also yelling and Caleb is now crying um, and is going to be running down the stairs as well. Um, As he enters the kitchen and the lights are on, the apparition of this very friendly ghost (laughs) has disappeared (laughs) for the most part. It has faded out Ah, as he enters the room. And she is pale, ridiculously pale, and he enters and there are these bright red lipstick marks all over his neck, a little up on his jaw as he enters, and she doesn't quite catch it at first, just as muttering about an intruder. As he comes in and he goes, what, what's wrong? What, what's wrong? And she goes, uh, there was there was someone in the house and I, I don't know where they, I, I don't know, and What's that? And her face instantly changes, drops into just trying to process. He was only gone for a minute. What's that in the basement? And he goes, what's what? That, and she'll point and he'll turn. There is a mirror already set up, one of those floor length mirrors uh, for like making sure you look okay before you head out. And he'll turn and look. Except to him, there's nothing. He sees absolutely nothing. Yes, Kenda. Uh, have we learned their names yet by this point? Yeah, do we know their names? I would say with all the screaming happening, okay. yes. At Can this I, point okay. in the day, you know their names. What, it, what's his... So, sorry, go for it. Is this B-Dog's first haunting? <gasps> this might be B-Dog's <laughs> first Is this the first haunting? one? Baby's first haunt! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I love it! Um, what was the what was the husband's name again? David. 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 Okay, cool. Uh, can B Dog appear again, coming out of the doorway that uh like he just came from, uh, but like with like lipstick, <laughs> like holding the lips. <laughs> What was, the, what was the husband's name again? David. <laughs> David, David. I'm sorry, my brain immediately. Okay. Is this so visual? Ew, David. Yes. David. That's a four. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, Woman. And so, like, B Dog still like has not changed anything about themselves, um, but it like has like a, like a, like a thing of lipstick and like has it on. Is gonna come out. I was like, David, why would you go? Oh, you're still here. What's up? Amazing. Oh my god. Okay, yeah. So he is looking at himself in the mirror like checking out where she's pointing like his upper torso or whatever and from over his shoulder michelle this poor woman is about to maybe lose her mind as she sees this intruder and now walking past behind him wearing bright red lipstick that matches but wait i i can't see the lipstick in the mirror and she just what is uh, David and she'll point over his shoulder and he'll whip around and go what 
and he turns in your direction and he sees the last like bit of you as you pass into the wall that is the stairwell behind you. And I don't know, do you want to like wink at him or something as you leave? Um, I blow him a kiss. Amazing. <laughs> Perfect. Just from- I as I anticipate. I am still thinking about just like the <laughs> beat up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good evening, ma'am. <laughs> beat dog. Um. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. As <laughs> you Hey Amber, I need a mental reset. You mind going to break? <laughs> oh, you need a mental break. <laughs> we can go to break. We can take break a little bit earlier. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you should have known what you were getting into yet. when you asked for this cast. Asked for this cast and to play my game. What were you thinking? <laughs> There's like no rules. It's gonna There's be great. No this is exactly what I wanted. This game this is, is so actually good. Outback. The game, no rules. It's just right. No rules. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. All right. We can go to break if if Haley needs a minute. Well, we can go to break and we can be back in ten minutes at nine thirty. So it still works. So yeah. Right. Yeah, we'll Feel be like back in popcorn. This show only just started. <laughs> Hell yeah. That gives us an hour and a half to r- truly fuck around and find out. So, all right. We'll be back at nine thirty Eastern. Stay tuned. Get a drink, get a snack, and uh, we'll be back soon. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.
Oh shit. Four, three, two. Oh, it took wow. us like, really. like... <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. My bad. No, it's great. It makes it better because then if like there's like some kind of like weird fudge, then like it looks less messy when I'm awkward. <laughs> it gives me a chance to do something weird. Anyways, hello, welcome back. Um, we were absolutely not talking about how a majority of this cast is ordained um, for various reasons. Cause you know, it's fun, it's fun. Um, but yeah, welcome back. Uh, my gaggle of ghouls have returned to me. Um, that was an eventful day one of this family unpacking. As I will say that that last fun little bit was the end of the night. Both parents said, we're tired. You know, we've been moving for ages. We've stayed up way too late. The kids have been insane. Let's just take an early night. So the day closes. Um, and the family all goes to bed. Is there anything particularly spooky that you would like to do in the middle of the night? Yes, Sam. I would like to, uh, what's the team's name again? Tommy. I would like to stand at the end of Thomas's bed. Um, cause I, I, I am, a, I'm a haunt, which means that, um, I can manifest myself. So I'm going to just appear at the end of his bed, uh, and just stand there, uh, and give the most menacing vibes possible. Um, so that if, and when he does wake up, I will just be staring at him unblinking and then I will, I'll talk to him. I'll talk to Thomas. Amazing. Okay. So, yeah. Is that Are uh, you aiming to wake him up in the middle of the night or wake in wait until it's like closer to morning when he would naturally oh. wake up? Oh, in the middle of the night. You know of it. Of course. It's the witching hour. Like what is that? Three? Is that three in the morning? Oh, really the morning? Good. I'm I'm not, like that. I'm not a I don't know what I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I hate the fucking game. Um <laughs> <laughs> Oh fuck yeah, four. Thank God. I was Hell really scared. Yes. Um yeah, so I'm going to essentially like. What do I want to do? I want to be like clicking the stapler, uh, <laughs> menacingly. Thomas <laughs> hides from office supplies for the rest. <laughs> <laughs> Is it just like, oh, these newfangled contraptions? Let me see what they do to for torture. This is like a nail gun, but for children. It's incredible. <laughs> Ooh. All right. You stand at the end of his bed, menacingly holding a staple. Like, you have it so that like, the bottom's like dropped. Yeah, I'm assuming yeah. you can just click and fire. Yeah. Amazing. Absolutely not something I did as a child. Um, never. <laughs> and Tommy is his bed's a mess he barely put sheets on this thing and he's tossed and turned and he kind of flops onto his back and something about your just vibe brings him to the realm of consciousness and in a way that you're not sure exactly how you do it but you know it's something that you can do as you manifest yourself at night to haunt someone but he freezes his whole body locks up oh, okay. and he is staring at you as he is essentially in sleep paralysis watching you menacingly hold a stapler what would you like to do <laughs> i'm going to like unblinkingly stare at him and say thomas i live within your walls thomas <laughs> <laughs> and I will slither out of them and into your veins and into your mind. And when I get there, you will regret ever laying eyes on me and coming into my home. You understand me, Thomas? You need to leave. This is my house. And you are simply an unwanted guest in my home. Yeah. Uh, Thomas is still frozen. Yes, Kevin, what would you like to do? 
I want to add something to what's <laughs> what Archibald is doing here. Yes. While he's kind of frozen and like <laughs> staring at, um, I want to turn on the computer. Okay. <laughs> um, Go for it. it. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah ro- um, roll for that ambiance. Ambiance. Okay. Okay. You got this. You got this. You got this. Two and a three. Okay, so a three. Perfect. And then what would you like to do? The computer will turn on. Okay, cool. Uh is Thomas like a is Thomas a gamer? A streamer? Uh, yes. He has a fledgling this... Twitch account. Hmm? Oh no. Fledgling. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um <laughs> I want to open up OBS. Uh, I'm gonna start this new scene <laughs> collection. I'm gonna put in um, a, 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 uh, <laughs> uh, a just like a screen capture source in. Um, okay. So it's just capturing the screen, like his web screen. Um, mm-hmm. I'm gonna go live on Twitch, uh, and I'm gonna open up his brow every browser, and then I'm just gonna start scrolling through uh, his uh, internet history. <gasps> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, cool person and I love it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh my if god. I thought what Sam was doing was a little fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> now we've got cyber crimes happening. <laughs> <laughs> I know what I was looking I mean, up when I was 16. Oh, no. no. Yeah, I mean, it's no. not like Archibald could even pull this off anyways. He doesn't know what a computer is. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Which makes this uh, the odd uh, lack of... Fuck, what's the word I'm going for? Synchronicity? Synchronicity. That sounds like a word. Yeah, yeah that word. Yeah. The lack of that between these these two sort of attacks that are happening on Thomas all at once, originally just frozen in fear as he sees this weird looking old man holding a stapler over his bed as he threatens <laughs> him to leave the house. And then as he's trying to come to terms with this and understand that he is still frozen and there's nothing he can do, out of the corner of his eye, he sees his computer turn on and he thinks to himself, this has to be a nightmare as you are able to pull up his internet history. Unfortunately, with only a three, you can record this, but it won't go live. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. I could say later if you would like to try again and Thomas has not had the chance to delete it in his fear, you can attempt to post it somewhere with another ambiance roll. Perfect. Okay, because cool. I think that's fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> but yes. Anyone else want to torture this poor teen? <laughs> yes, not Chrissy. The teen. I mean, oh Kaylin's no. Better. Oh no, okay. the baby. Are boy. these simultaneous attacks? Yes. While they're, yes. While they're all harassing we've, we've, the team. We've put I, I'm, I'm standing next to Caleb's bed and I'm leaned over and I'm just singing very, very softly. Ring around, around. <laughs> and I've, I've made it get very, very cold, or I'm trying to anyway. Okay, yeah, go ahead and go for ambiance for me. Actually, okay. if you am want... I, wait, am I doing... No, I was going to say, if you want, I could, you know, for extra twinitude, I could, I also have skills in ambiance. Okay, you do the, you do the ambiance then, and I'll just do the singing. Would yeah. that be ambiance or physicality? Um... Oh, well, I guess it'd be ambiance or visual. Sorry, not physical. Physicality. Yeah. yeah. Singing would be ambiance. Okay. Because okay. it's normal. Ambiance, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I don't know why I asked. I only have one dice. <laughs> this is a know. three. Three? Uh-huh. A four for making it cold. Uh, He's going to be able to see right. his breath whenever he wakes up. Yeah. <laughs> Poor child. <laughs> so yeah, I know this poor eight-year-old child. Who's <laughs> eight? As oh, he made it to eight. eight. Clara didn't. Clara didn't make that's it to fair. eight. Maybe You're that's why I hate him point. so much. Are you trying to guilt trip this child for being alive? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. 
All right. <laughs> All my homies the hate doll. him. <laughs> the doll of this fucking kid. <laughs> We're just existing yet after We're the age existing. of seven. So I, I'll say it happens like this. Caleb is tucked up in his bed. He has one of those little race car beds that I always wanted as a kid because I think that's fun. Oh. He has a little oh, race no. car bed and he's tucked up and he is still clutching that Hot Wheel toy. And he, he has it and he's laying down and suddenly the room goes arctic. Everything becomes cold. It's such an intense drop in temperature that whatever moisture was in the room freezes against the inside of the window panes. And Caleb jolts awake and clutches his blanket tighter to him. And as he wakes, he doesn't see anything other than the attempted scrubbing at the get out on the wall that he was blamed for. Instead, he just hears with a three, not quite words, but the most horrifying attempt at a melody that could be made with that weird, staticky, demonic kind of sounding screams in the distance. Oddly to the tune of Ring Around the Rosie. Hmm? And he screams. Both parents are now awake and are easy targets for anybody else who would like to do something. <laughs> I'll mess with the parents. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yes. Um, Go for so it. if if they're, I'm going to try to uh, silence the room so they don't hear what's going on to the kids, so they don't go check on them. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> sure. And I also want to make it super humid in their room, so they're just miserable. <laughs> <laughs> like it was hot boxed. So this is all, all well, just just just. <laughs> Something like like that seems like just they they picked maybe their room is just like just bad. Yeah, 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 totally. The circulation here sucks ass. Yeah, go for it. Roll for it. Cool. Uh, that's definitely the ambiance. All right. So with my bonus, I have a four. Beautiful. Okay. So with that, hmm. so you're wanting to silence. You're encapsulating the room before either of these cats yeah. go off. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. I want the despair to sink in because they're alone. <laughs> and, and, and also for them, they think, oh, well, everything else is fine for everybody else. So, but they're just yeah, like, we can't rule. So they're going to be sleepy tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> Next time, I'm going to make a game that isn't as mean spirited. <laughs> no! <laughs> I just feel so bad. No, we hate the living. Fuck <clears throat> the living, Sam. Yeah, it's an eight-year-old child. If I, if I was eight, and like, I was, I was really into Thomas the Tank Engine. I'm like, yo, if if somebody if this should happen, Paddington. I'm into Paddington now, baby. Paddington, they're fucking rocks. <laughs> cool. So silence descends upon this room, and it it's like your ears are filled with cotton, but they're. They know there's nothing there, so it's just a weird, dead sort of silence where you can hear your own heartbeat and it's kind of uncomfortable and you're very aware that your body has functions that it's doing. <laughs> that was a great description. Yeah. Um, it does <laughs> do that. And they are kind of slowly aroused by that really uncomfortable, sticky, hot, humid, they think, oh, maybe the, the heater is kind of messed up because it, it's kind of fall-ish. And so maybe something's just messed up in, in the HVAC system. But they both wake up in like that terrible, half groggy, but angry kind of mode and go, Yeah. <laughs> oh, David, you, you need to fix that. Like, I, I know they said they replaced it. But, oh, this is just gross. I'm sweating. And Michelle throws off uh, the comforter and is just laying there in that weird, not quite tea pose. Of like, ew, everything's gross. And David just grumbles, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go to the part store with Tommy tomorrow. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll, in the morning, go. And they both kind of <laughs> attempt to sleep where nobody's sleeping tonight. <laughs> But at this point, I will say, because Caleb was woken and is not currently paralyzed with fear, 
despite not being able to hear the scream, Caleb will run out of his room, come down this hallway, thundering at full speed, and crash into their room. But there's a weird moment where your silence was so good that despite the fact that Caleb's screaming for his parents and the sound of his feet should be making noise in this room, nobody can really hear anything coming from the kid. They just see the doors open suddenly and then their child, who is obviously making noise, but they can't hear anything, and they both freak out. (laughs) (laughs) Suddenly child. (laughs) In the silence. That's so weird. Imagining a silent child running <laughs> is actually kind of that terrifying. is scary. That's, That's like Pulse. <laughs> you know that one scene in Pulse where like the woman's like moving towards the camera. No. Yeah, no. Mm. Yeah. I don't watch horror Not movies actually. I watch them all the time. <laughs> I'm a bitch. That's that. why I'm a little bitch, and I don't like horror movies. <laughs> anyway, you listen out. I really shouldn't watch as many as I do because I do live like by myself and it's the worst thing for like my heart. Mm. But yeah. So Mr. Green, would you like to drop the silence as Caleb enters or are you just going to let it hang? Um, No, we'll let it go. (laughs) All right. Both parents bolt out of bed and they're coming over to Caleb and going, Honey, honey, what's wrong? You Use your voice. Come on, tell us. And they're like kneeling down in front of him and he's still hysterical. He's crying and he's pointing back towards his room and everyone's freaking out. They go, okay, okay, just, just let, we'll go check it out. And they leave the bedroom. Yes, Sam? Uh, I want to appear to just, um... yeah, let's do, let's do the mom. Uh, well, I'm good. That was a poor choice of words. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> Amazing. Um, Why was this so full of innuendos? Why is death so full of innuendos? I am doing your mother currently. <laughs> uh, no, I'm going to appear to this woman, uh, just her. Um, and like at the end of the hallway, and I'm going to go, no one will believe you. <laughs> Roll for it. Uh, okay. Uh, I only have one it's dice. This could be bad. Uh, That's three. what I was thinking. That's a three. <laughs> Would you prefer to be heard or seen? Oh, heard. Heard. On okay. The side. Okay. So as Michelle and David leave their room, and suddenly they can hear. Caleb crying as they step through this doorway and and that's kind of weird and and David continues to follow Caleb but Michelle's caught for a second because she sees sort of an outline of a figure kind of like a silhouette of you vaguely and that's what catches her attention and then she hears your voice she hears the words and she just no 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 and she'll like shake it off and she'll go to follow her kid are more inclined to worry about the safety of her son, but it did rattle her a bit. They will both go to Caleb's room, but before they really get there, the thing is, is you left the end of Tommy's bed and his paralysis instantly breaks. The moment you are no longer in his line of sight, he freaks out, tumbles out of bed, and starts yelling. So everyone's yelling at this point. There's so much noise in this house. I will give. I will say that just about anything that will include noise in it right now probably not going to be super effective as everyone's screaming. It's there's a noise complaint being filed from like the next house over. The police might show up. You don't know. Hmm? That's a a vignette scene. (laughs) And Tommy drops out of bed and goes, Mom! Mom, Dad! Ah!" And he runs out, catches the edge of his mother as she is stepping into Caleb's room. Is there anything anyone would like to do in this moment? As we are doing more and more things, yes. Uh, I... 
I kind of want to do something fun with them. Now that they're all in a one place, all screaming. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> can I, as they're like all like running together, like taking the taking it in, all yelling? Can I appear like next to them, like in the circle of them, also yelling? <laughs> <laughs> like ah, something's wrong. What's going on? <laughs> 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 is this visual again? Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely, okay. it is. That's a four. <laughs> the best part about this is that no one really picks up on the sudden appearance of an additional person for the first like three or four seconds of yelling, as both of their sons are screaming about the various occurrences that have just happened. There, there was this voice and, and there was this really creepy old man and he had a stapler and it was so cold. And there was, I, I don't know, there was something weird with the noise. And both of them are going off and just to the side. There's another person going, yeah, that's, that's wild. Yeah, no, there's crazy <laughs> stuff happening around here. <laughs> it's like, holy shit. And I'm wearing like a classic, like, uh, an Ebenezer Scrooge esque <laughs> like fucking <laughs> plug with a little lamp. And, and I'm like, and they were in the basement and there were so many bodies and then they just kept coming and there was so much blood and there was oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> So my god he's a natural <laughs> baby's first super aunt. natural one might say <laughs> <laughs> everyone's screaming and at this point as both of the kids are talking and david's doing his best to do the parent thing of like listening and well like you're not really sure what you're believing but you're listening because you're going to be a good parent and you're going to try to hear your kids out Michelle is also trying to do that, still rattled by whatever she heard before, and will hear the additional voice and go, that's not one of mine, (laughs) and look, (laughs) and see you. And they had weapons, and and there was a shovel, and they were digging holes. (laughs) The biggest intake of breath. This time, oxygen is truly going to every crevice of her lungs as she lets out a billow, like just the most ear piercing scream you've ever heard in your life or death. She screams and all of the boys turn and look at her and then look at you and they all start screaming. And then I start screaming. (laughs) (laughs) The moment you are spotted, David hefts up Caleb and starts to run, grabbing his wife's hand and goes, Toby, we gotta go. And they are all running. We're going (laughs) back into bullet time as the family is trying to escape the house, essentially. Funnily enough, every one of their will tracks, as of like, as you guys did everything that you just did, all filled at the exact same time. Oh, hell yeah. You have broken every single person in this family and they are all trying to run. We did a speed run of this game. Uh, We did truly. Uh, One more thing. Uh, As they're running out, can I like appear like um, at the, like not at the bottom of the stairs, but like in the kitchen as they're running past with like uh, a gaping hole in my neck, uh, just bleeding out of it. Yes, you can. We all gotta visual. get our last punches in. Yeah, we you all, really we all do. gotta take a little swing at this. Uh, visual, <laughs> that is a one. Uh, probably not. <laughs> well, I was gonna make the visual of throwing the bottles of pink Moscato at the family as they <laughs> ran out of the house. <laughs> because, because, listen, Honey Pop, I don't appreciate that level of tomfoolery with, with good liquor. Absolutely not. Pink Moscato. That's for boys. That's for babies. Amber's coming for Haley's throat with pink Moscato <laughs> comments. Listen, <laughs> I I remember getting fucked up on pink, pink Moscato when I was 22. I'm 31. I'm not doing that shit anymore. <laughs> I still drink pink Moscato, but I'm not trying to get fucked up on it. 
I drink it because I it like the whole flavor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, so what was that roll? Um, hold on. I'm thinking visual with it. Oh, that's a one and mm-hmm. a one and a four. So I'm going to take the four. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I think you will. I think you yeah. will. All right. So in the kitchen, the, the, the visual doesn't quite work for Archibald, unfortunately. He, you go and you're, you're feeling very dramatic. You know exactly what you're doing, but the weird kind of flashes that Caleb gets as he's like being hoisted over his dad's shoulder is the weird flickering image of like, like a dude sprawled across the like kitchen island countertop and he's like pouring fake blood on himself. Oh, and it looks like a very bad theater production <laughs> of a death <laughs> and not a real death. And Caleb doesn't know how to process any of that. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. As for Pink Moscato, visuals of the these bottles that just appear in like the middle of nowhere and get flung across walls, scattering the area in sticky wine as they just kind of explode like like little bits of confetti everywhere as they all run past and they're ducking and they don't know where it's coming from and I didn't buy that many bottles, I swear, and they're Fuck still you, running. Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Okay, who next? I want to run after, um, run after them, like especially Caleb and Tommy, just being like, "Wait, where are you going? Why won't you play with me? Come play with me? Where are you going?" <laughs> Diabolical. Yes. <laughs> Wild. How would you like to roll for that? Like, what? What skill I, are we using here? That would be what is that? Did you Probably say that was visual? Um, visual? Are you appearing or ambiance yeah. as an apparition? Like oh yeah, yeah. Can well, I mean, can I can I roll? Like, would that be visual and ambiance, or would that just be? You visual can do both. Yeah. Okay. You can. Those are rules that you can use. That is a three and a four. So do we, I, wow. I think you're supposed to combine them and then No, divide. I think you take the higher one. No, not for, for a double check. It's it's you you can allocate uh, either role to whichever skill you want. So if, mm-hmm. you, say, if you if you are prioritizing visual over ambiance, you'd be like, all right, I want the four to go to visual and the three mm-hmm. to go to ambiance. Okay, well, I want the four to go to ambiance because I definitely want them to be able to hear me and maybe like I can just be flickering as opposed to a steady view or something for visual. Yeah, totally. Okay, uh, Chrissy, for this one, I would like for you as a part of your visual as you're following um, behind them, Tommy is going to very clearly see you as he hears something behind him and he looks, sees this little girl. I would like you to describe how you look like naturally, like what a seven-year-old is supposed to look like at, you know, her healthiest. And then I want you to describe the disgusting, rotted kind of version of you that was you in death. Okay. For you to flicker between. Um, so <laughs> I, in life, she, she looks kind of like I do now. She had brown hair. Um, big brown eyes, a lot of freckles, and her hair was pretty much always done in pigtails, and she had a blue dress on that came about down to her knees, and little penny loafers, is that what the little shoes were yeah. called? There you go. And, <laughs> and so she, and like big old lacy socks, and just standing there with a big old smile on her face, and when that flickers, that. you you see um, someone that has like like rotting corpse flesh with like gaps in it where you can see bone and maybe maybe some maybe some maggots pouring out you hear marie from like the roof like i'm proud of you (laughs) (laughs) i love you (laughs) fuck them up so that's what tom (laughs) that's what tommy (laughs) sees as you call and and plead with him why won't you play with me and you're flickering rapidly between a very healthy little girl with a very dead corpse as you are just kind of casually following after them as they're running at top speed and yet you are still you're consistently only about five feet behind him which seems very threatening <laughs> play with me <laughs> yeah tommy 
if this kid could go any more pale. Like this kid rarely sees the sun to begin with, but he has gone like basically translucent at this point. <laughs> to uh, um, to top it off, every light bulb, light source they pass, I'm going to make burn as bright as it possibly can and then pop. <laughs> as they, yes, everyone they move past is gonna do it. Yes. Go ahead and roll that ambiance for me. Uh, I got a two, I got a four. Nice, okay, perfect, yeah. So just as you describe it, every light bulb, like this is the kind of house that has wall sconces pretty yeah. regularly throughout. Because when it was built, you know, light bulbs weren't that bright. Now they have LEDs and they could probably do without the number of light bulbs in this house. But it's great for the visual effect right now because as they're running down these halls, down the stairs, through this house, I, I would estimate maybe a good 10, 10 light bulbs, probably just ex burn bright, almost blinding, and they kind of have to look away from them as they suddenly explode beside <laughs> them. And maybe a little vindictively you smile as uh, there's a, a cut that appears across David's face oh, yeah. as he runs past. Fancy bitches got light in here. <laughs> electricity oh, is your light. sticking point. <laughs> hey, when, when this was a when this was a very respectable crack house, we didn't have <laughs> fancy lighthouses and, and doors. We had a sheet tied up to the the door jam. Man, they walk in and out with active portal doors. Man. It's like a like a dating profile. <laughs> Likes drugs, dislikes electricity. <laughs> Fancy Swipe shit. left if you enjoy electricity. <laughs> <laughs> Swipe right if you like an instant spark in your romance. <laughs> spark. Wow. <laughs> All right. And last but not least, I, a coup de gras. <laughs> um, as they, I'm imagining as they get to the front door, and they're like pulling it open to like get out. Um, <laughs> B dog is on the other side of the door in a Pizza Hut uniform. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, has like a big, like has like the carrier case, like the Pizza Hut carrier case. Um, and as they open, and as they open it, and like it's gonna be, like, hey, uh, did you order uh, three uh, extra large pizzas, uh, double uh, double cheese, pepperoni, and uh, extra werewolf? And we'll open it up and have like a werewolf, like come out, like not like a real one, but like <laughs> like it like pops out and like. <laughs> It's a jump scare. <laughs> it's a jump scare. You got him with what? the classic werewolf in a pizza box tray. You need yeah, advantage. I don't... I don't know how advantage works. Add an extra, an extra dice. An extra die. Yeah. Uh, that... uh, I, what am I rolling? Oh for? My... I don't know. Oh my God. Uh, visual. <laughs> I'm... Visual, I guess. Visual? Okay, cool. Uh, I, I don't know. Four. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, that's a three and a four. Four. Oh. Amazing. Oh my god. I really did say coup de gras, and you came with it. Ken Kendo, I'm don't obvious. sleep on Kendo now. They're an award-winning <laughs> podcaster. <laughs> Multiple times over. What is it? Five now, Kendo? Whoa. Hey, we don't. We don't have so to talk about this. We're talking about Max. it. It's we gonna hard. hype you up. If I don't get a list of your awards uh, yes. when we go back to like the social links again at the end okay. of this. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. As this family, gaslit, gatekeeped, ghoul bossed. Hey, <laughs> ghoul bossed. Out of their home, well, house, because they didn't actually have the chance to call it a home. Fun fact, I planned for like five different days with different activities and y'all just wrecked them. <laughs> You're like, no, these people are out nah, first on. night. They don't get to Fuck see. these white people. You're harsh in the vibe. They're the ones you stupid to enough to buy these houses. Oh man. As they bust through this house, hearing and seeing things beyond comprehension, things are being thrown, they fear for their lives, they make it to the door, which they think is safety because, and 
in the distance through one of the windows, they see the lights flashing red and blue as the neighbor definitely calls a noise complaint at this point. <laughs> and they reach for the door. It's Michelle in the lead and she's running and she's going, she yanks it open. And the most rational woman, a woman who could explain away just about everything, opens the door to a ghostly pizza man who <laughs> <laughs> begins rambling before lifting this bag and opening it up and out pops a <laughs> head to absolutely scream at her. And she just looks, back pedals, but you see the way, like a fainting goat, all the blood uh, rushes to the wrong uh, places and this woman drops backwards <laughs> as she just blacks out in fear. The rest of the family, David puts Caleb down, shoves him out the door, tells Tommy to get out as well as he goes and he gets to his wife and kind of shakes her awake and goes, we gotta go. In the most dramatic, like Saving Private Ryan way ever. And they finally make it out of this house, rushing past you, like through you, essentially, because they're like, we don't know what's going on. Nothing makes sense. This whole world is wrong. They rush out of the house as the uh, cop car pulls up and along the lights flashing. And they both, they all make it out onto the lawn, tears streaking down faces, pale as ghosts and absolutely traumatized. And in the distance, just beyond, as the camera zooms back towards the house, we see a gathering of ghouls in the doorway, standing there, watching on. <laughs> Amber with the visual effects. Yes. <laughs> it's a Amazing. high stream. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Hoax, right. I think the bank will foreclose the house. It's <laughs> ours again. <laughs> I think so. Oh, man. No Congratulations. <laughs> we, <got it. laughs> we did a speed run of Sam's game. Yay. Yay. Yeah. Now I know how to balance it. <laughs> <laughs> For no, the record. perfect the way it is. No, that was amazing. That For was the record, so much fun. Michelle had a will of eight. Okay, um, yeah, yeah, thank you for that. And she was prone to visual. Uh, David had um, a will of six and was oh, prone I to physical. Oh, I knew he was a bottom. <laughs> I knew it. With a woman like Michelle, obviously. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, Tommy and Caleb both had fours. Uh, Tommy was uh, weak to ambiance and Caleb to visual. Mm. But yeah, and you just absolutely demolished all of them. I was expecting <laughs> Michelle to be the one to like hold out, but you guys targeted her with such a vengeance. She came out amazing. too strong. She came out too strong. She was yeah. a mean live mommy live and love? all of us said bet. Yeah. Let's take out live the mean love? mommy. <laughs> yeah, live laugh love. You you are? No. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sweetie. <laughs> it's it's uh it's uh dead despair uh Dance. I don't fucking know. <laughs> yeah. we, have a, we, have a, we have an illumination style dance party at the end. Dead of the despair, roll. dance macabre. Dance. Oh, there you go. There we go. Love it. But she's definitely like in Mary Kay or Herbalife or something like that. Or oh no, <laughs> she's an Arbon. She's a oh, fucking wow. Arbon. <sighs> so yeah. what? Do I'm we... definitely posting that kid's uh, the, that kid's internet history. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he left it behind. Wow, yeah, absolutely. Inspired. We got forty-five minutes. Do we? I mean, I allotted forty-five minutes. Do, do we want to do anything, or do we just want to wrap up? I mean, Q and A. I don't um, know. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I don't know, know how this works. But but a spooky Q and A. Everybody, oh. give a fun fact about your ghost. Oh. I want fun facts. <laughs> Fuck, I didn't think it was um, hard. Oh, Archibald <laughs> um, died uh, when he took too much coke, uh, tripped down the stairs, uh, and impaled himself on his own cane. 
that's awesome. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. Wait, did they have cocaine in the 1800s? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. in everything. That was like, it Coca-Cola was a really Coca-Cola had like, cocaine in it. I didn't yeah. realize it was like illegal. that long that ago. Gum. Oh, yeah, they Holy put that shit in gum. They were like, oh, this is medicinal. We can just yeah. do this whenever. It's fine. Yeah. This yeah. minds yeah. the pain away, literally. Yeah, Civil like, War was all like, God, I love Coke. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I knew that that was a thing, but I guess I didn't realize like how long ago that was. I oh, guess I thought yeah. it was more recent. History is not my best subject. I can't, my brain does not do chronological order of life very well. I feel that. <laughs> Um, but yeah geez what a way to go right i love that is that something you just came up with sam by the way yes oh yeah because i I know no awesome (laughs) fun fact sam determined that that, uh, he was going to come up with however archibald died in the moment uh when inspiration struck and i think that was a bolt of lightning that was amazing (laughs) B Dog's yeah. legal name is B Dog. Uh, <laughs> uh, they changed it almost immediately after failing out of college. When what? you posted that in Discord earlier, I was like, I literally almost responded. I was like, Kendo, are you, is this a fucking joke? <laughs> <laughs> no. B Dog's B Dog's their name. Come on. What's wrong with B Dog? Stellar. <laughs> No, that's that their name sense. is B Dog. I love it. What's Mr. Green's government name? Oh, um, <laughs> uh, Mr. Mr. Green is a Joshua. Oh, oh. He totally is. <laughs> That yeah, fits in a weird way. Yeah, Mr. Green, uh, even in death, smokes crack, but doesn't actually feel it. So he's uh, he looks over at Archibald. And he's like, "So tell me about that laptop you banged." <laughs> I don't, I don't Fickers. understand. Is what laptop? I what is that? Is that some sort of sexual thing? You get a bit of laptop. Oh. Is that a new thing for a blowjob? You get a little bit of laptop. Is that what that is? I don't understand these newfangled devices. Is it a device? This is, qu- this is kind of like that scene from Breaking Bad. Oh, yes, of course. Where, Je- <laughs> where, where Jesse tells Walter something, and Walt's like, what the fuck are you talking about? This is that. This is that scene. <laughs> that lovable rascal Jesse Pinkman and his drugs. Classic. <laughs> For the record, I totally meant to imply drugs, and then it went to sex, and I was like, close enough. <laughs> and I just went with it. <laughs> That's what I originally thought, but I'm like, I was like, yeah. And so next <laughs> to that are um, a little sus. Weird. <laughs> I was like, mm, this is the cast I chose. I should have known. Uh-huh. <laughs> this would be the default response. <laughs> Matt yeah. actually sent in the Discord, if we want to do this, a game that's, that Dylan, Super Dylan, wrote called Let, Let Me Explain. Um, an improv game with as many supernaturals as you want and one human. You play a group of supernaturals who have never told your human friend that you are supernatural. There's been a solar eclipse. A moon's shadow overtaking the sun has suddenly made your true form visible. Uh, now that the cat's out of the bag, your friend wants to clarify some things. Set a timer timer for two minutes, 41 seconds for each supernatural at the start. The su- super announces what they really are. For the duration of the timer, the human can ask as many questions as they can, and the super can respond, starting with, let me explain. So we can do that, or we can just, like, cut it off for the night. I'm good with whatever. Also good I mean, with now whatever. that you've explained it... I think we have to do like at least one round. Oh, okay. Yeah. Why, why yeah. Not? yeah why not? I think yeah. it'll be fun. It'll be fun. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, how do we start this? Yeah. So okay. So example. Timer set. Super. I'm a ghost. Human. Wait. Have you ever been in my apartment without me knowing? Ghost. <laughs> Let me explain. Only once, but it was because you were watching the, the Game of Thrones finale and HBO canceled my subscription after I died. Human. Oh, okay. Wait, was it really my cat that broke my mom's old vase? Ghost. Let uh-huh. me explain. Okay, I have to, I have to supernatural entity. 
I was just gonna play Marie. <laughs> Is that <laughs> works? Oh, hold on, are we are we are we doing this like in rotation where there's one supernatural and everyone else gets to like throw questions at them? Oh, I like that. Because I feel like we I can rotate that way, way it. and it, and it's more chaotic. Yeah, I mean, come on. Very true. Come on. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that sounds fun. We're okay. playtesting yeah. two games tonight, bitches. We're, we're going off on, we're on going the Space off. Jammer channel. Um, okay. <laughs> yes. Who's, who's first, who's first uh, super? Nose goes. Hmm? Fuck, am I good at this? Chrissy. Oh, Chrissy. That was Chrissy. 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 <laughs> oh, God, I'm so bad. <laughs> all right, all right. All right. So we're, I, 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 I just get to be my character? If you want. Mm. Yeah. Okay, okay. All right, so you have to start off with I'm a whatever. Okay, so. All right. I'm, I'm a ghost. <laughs> okay. Who's asking questions? Oh uh, my god, start, bitch. Oh my god, you <laughs> stupid. Okay, it started. <laughs> <laughs> great start, great start. <laughs> Hold, I've restarted. <laughs> okay. We all panicked. Oh, sh shoot, what do you ask a ghost? Oh, Can you walk through walls? Oh, uh, let me explain. Um, I can sometimes, but other times it doesn't work quite as well. I've, I've actually been stuck inside a wall before. It wasn't any fun. I was stuck there for a little bit, like almost like four days. What wall were you <laughs> stuck in? I, oh, well, I was, let me explain. I was stuck in somebody's bathroom wall and you know, they're making a lot of really gross noises in there. It was, <laughs> and it didn't smell very good. What's it like Don't... being a child ghost? Oh, let me explain. It's so much fun. I, I like I, I I get to play with everyone's toys like that come through the house like they, whenever we scare them off they end up leaving them behind and so I just you know there's just so much to play with now so I've collected a bunch of crowns and 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 cars and like a, a rocking horse <laughs> they're hanging out up in the attic sometimes Thank you so much for the away. raid no man sorry I'm wow. Wow. hello <laughs> Wowza. Can you leave the house. Sorry, did you say, can you leave the house? Yes. Oh, um, let me explain. No, no, I'm kind of stuck here. It's real unfortunate. Sometimes, like on certain days, I can go out in the yard and walk around, but that's about it. I can't go any further. So what's your favorite thing to do as a ghost? Oh, um, let me explain. I like to scare people. <laughs> <laughs> Ghosts are creepy, like cute to creepy and like zero to 100 real quick. Really? Um, yeah. uh, can, do you have all five of your senses as a ghost? Um, let me explain. So like sometimes yes, other times no. But like more often than not, I can't really feel things very often, but I can, I can see, I can hear, and unfortunately I can smell. That, that's something, that's something that occasionally, like, you know, whenever I was stuck in the bathroom wall that I really wish I didn't have to. How did you get out of the bathroom wall? Oh, well, let me explain. So I, I was in there for a few days and I was trying to will myself out and just couldn't. And I, then finally they turned on some water and I was like, well, maybe I can go through the water pipes. And so I, I went to go through the water pipes. Unfortunately, I got flushed down with the water from the toilet. <laughs> I, I did get out though. So it, it kind of like reset me as it left the boundaries of the house. <sighs> That's it. Chrissy, you crushed that. That was, that was amazing. Yeah, that was amazing. Holy great. smokes. <laughs> really good. <laughs> Uh, let's popcorn, Chrissy. Oh, okay. Okay, let's 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 popcorn over to Kendo. Mm. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Got this. Let me think of the super. Is it just anything that's supernatural? Yeah, or you mm -hmm. could do in character as B Dog. That's fair. Hmm. Yeah. It, yeah, I'll be B Dog. Why not? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. I'm a ghost. Time starts now. So. All right. What's the worst thing about being dead? I'm not real good at touching. Well, okay, hold on. Let me explain. <laughs> <laughs> what a start. <laughs> As a ghost, it is hard for me to touch things. I'm no longer corporeal. So like things, 
I don't have all my senses, sadly. Uh, touch, I don't feel it anymore. And like, touch was my love language dog. Like, it kind of oh, ruined everything. No. So it's not, <laughs> it's not great. You know. Magic. How did you afford a house at your age in 2017? <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Okay. All right. Let me explain. I didn't own the house. I was renting, uh, or oh, I was okay. staying at a friend's place. I was going to pay him at a point, um, <laughs> but I died before you know the my startup got started. If you were alive today, would you be into crypto or like NFTs? I don't know what that is. <laughs> what is that? Is that a Twitter thing? I don't really do Twitter all that much. Uh, let me explain. I don't know what that is. Uh, so I can't answer that. Bitcoin God. was a thing in 2017, Kendo. Come on. <laughs> yeah, people still need to have Bitcoin explained to them. I don't think it's weird that this Ooh. one person doesn't know what crypto is. Okay, that's fair. Good for him. Uh, what, <laughs> what made you decide to like stay here and haunt this house with us? The vibes. The vibes were good. I mean, I decided to root myself here before I knew most of you were here. And so at that point, the vibes were good. The <laughs> vibes have been a little wibbly wobbly. Trying to figure that out. I got to talk with Archibald. Him and I just need to go over some stuff. I get it. 1800s. Things were different. He's got to learn things. Oh, no. <laughs> so, and so we just have to have that conversation. But the vibes, the vibes are good. Oh God! Oh, Who's your favorite? You husband. you all imagined whatever it is you imagined. <laughs> yeah, I was scared. I said I, no, I didn't say any. I, I, didn't, I didn't specify things are different. There are things that Archibald. Archibald. Maybe well, needs he to was learn. an oil man, so at least he's a capitalist. Um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. But he did die in 1903 for context. <laughs> so I don't know if that, that tells you. Anything. No, no, no. Again, again. You all are Matt. You all have implanted whatever, yes, image which is in your own. Mode. You're using the horror technique of um, imagination is scarier yes. than actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Archibald needs to learn whatever it is you believe Archibald needs to learn. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Archibald. It's, I think it's Archibald. your turn to pop cur pop kern. Popcorn. 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 <laughs> um, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna pass it on over to Archibald. Oh boy, Heck that yeah. is not Hot right. Sam, if you don't want to be Archibald, <laughs> I do not want to be Archibald. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in fact, I will not play Archibald. Oh. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm gonna take it a different direction. Howdy. I'm a weird cowboy. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I'm oh so my god, this is the so best. Wait, does being a were cowboy mean that you become a cowboy in the full moon, or? Let me explain. At high noon, I turn into a were cowboy. <laughs> That's so good. That's really good. Do you, <laughs> do you always have your six shooter on you? Or when you transform, does the <laughs> six shooter just appear? Let me explain. It, um unfortunately takes place of my um shall i say politely member <laughs> um, <laughs> has to go somewhere. <laughs> yeah well uh, it's, it's okay. only been shooting blanks if i'm being completely honest <laughs> so it's not like it's gonna do anything much in a quick draw in other ways so. <laughs> i don't know <laughs> You know, that's just how it be. Sometimes you're rooting, sometimes you're tooting, <laughs> but sometimes you're just not shooting, and that's okay. <laughs> that's, you know what, you're so right. You're so right, Archibald. <laughs> that's okay. My name's actually uh, Jebediah One Shot, least I was when I still have bullets. I'm sorry, I said Archibald, that's not, I'm sorry. <laughs> 
I feel like y'all aren't taking my affliction very seriously. I'm so hey, I'm so, I, what is what is the best way that we can support you? The you see, what are um, your needs that we can help? With? If I ever ask you, let me explain. If I ever ask you to duel, do not accept. I'm telling you oh. right now. If I duel you and you lose, you become a wear cowboy too. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna lie though. That does. Are there downsides to your being cock aware? turns into a six shooter? <laughs> <laughs> but but objectively, that's kind of cool. I know it becomes. I can't a useless pee when I'm in this form. I can't kiss. <laughs> Do you when feel? Do you feel the need to piss? <laughs> yes. Does it just stay there and you just can't? Imagine, do about it? imagine you're drinking one of them newfangled Seven Eleven Slurpees, <laughs> and you're down the whole damn thing two hours before noon, and you forget, and suddenly you got a big iron, and you're feeling like, my God, I gotta let the cows out. Hey. <laughs> And you're holding that big guy, and you gotta wait for it to come back on in order how, to piss. How long is, how long is it transfer? If you transform at high noon, when do you transform back? Oh, it only lasts a minute. It's just high noon. <laughs> oh, it's just a minute! <laughs> yes, a minute. Yeah, suddenly my penis is gone. I'm holding it in my head. It took a lot of get used to, I will say. Just, so you let, just let have me to hold it for a minute. <laughs> yeah, I'm holding my 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 gun cock in my hand for just a minute. It is really not too big of a deal. Um but whenever somebody says the word duel, I also become a wear cowboy. So it is a little oh. bit interesting. This is the longest I've ever been a wear cowboy. Like I I can't actually take this out of my hand. Like it, it's like a, a part of my it's like an appendage. I can't well, you know, like a I penis. Mean, I can't really take my dick off. So I'm holding, <laughs> holding this gun in my hand. <laughs> Uh, and there's kind of this gaping area where my, my, you know, uh, my. What happens uh, if you don't put it back in You time? hit your time, oh. but this is just so fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> Let me explain. Uh, it, it, it's kind of like a, like a magnet. Fortunately, when I transform, uh, as you can see, I'm not wearing any pants. These are just assless chaps. I, I don't <laughs> have any pants. Suddenly, this whole conversation has happened with no pants. <laughs> no pants. I've got, I'm, I, I am cheek sounding like a cow in the sun and not, and 1897 uh but when i let go yeehaw. of that gun, yeehaw and that's what i'm saying but when i let go of the, when i when i transform back uh the gun kind of like a transformer style just latches back onto my crotch my pants reform around it uh and, and then someone says was well, that a bulge you happen to see me and i'm like ah it's a big iron Matt, I think I have an idea Wait, for a new at shirt. That point, you are fucking <laughs> crazy. Somebody <laughs> would say that. I would buy it in a heartbeat. You can, can use you code Amber15 for 15% off your order at Gen 4. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't hear your question. <laughs> what were you, were you saying something? I don't know where to go from here. <laughs> uh. Someone clip that, please. <laughs> I think after that time period, you're going to have to make it a highlight reel. So oh, my God. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> oh. I can't breathe. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> Mowgli, help. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh, to thank go. you. Thank Bravo. You. <laughs> you uh, I think I gave myself COVID. <laughs> <laughs> I, I developed <laughs> asthma. Ah. Yeah. I have a massage my cheeks. <laughs> yeah, my face hurts like I was just on spontaneous. <laughs> right. Like, oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. Um, hello. <laughs> yeah, you are. All of you are welcome on Spontaneum at any time. By the way, uh, <laughs> I will say next week's episode is profanity free, but because we have the uh, five-year-old DM oh, coming yeah. on, so we can't oh. swear. Oh, for real? Oh, six now. Yeah. If that if that counts. <laughs> yeah. So it's it, we can't. There's no swearing allowed on the next episode. Wow, that's awesome. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no swearing. So Ch if Jaguar and Chad swears, I'm kicking them. We're not allowed. <laughs> We're not corrupting this, this beautiful, pure soul. You almost yes. said this fucking kid. <laughs> <laughs>
not crook this fucking kid. <laughs> I swear to God, if you swear in this fucking kid, I think you have to popcorn somebody. Oh, oh please right. don't, please don't. <laughs> There's no saving it from here. Uh, Where do we um, go from here? Haley, let's go. No! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Ah. No. Oh no. What am I supposed <sighs> to do? <laughs> well, I could be anything, and apparently anything's on the table for saying anything. Wild <laughs> shit. Wild west shit. Okay. I'm going to be a vampire. That sounds fun. Okay. Classic. That's Garland. <laughs> Who's my sire? Yeah. Oh, well, you know, I signed an NDA when I did. So let me explain. There's a whole hierarchy to this. <laughs> and I just, I really, I'm not allowed to say because, you know, you're not supposed to tell people you're vampires because then everybody wants an eye. Because obviously we're sexy as fuck. True. So like, you can't just let anybody be a vampire. What's the requirement to be a vampire? Like what, like on the job description yeah. of vampire what what goes in that like we're looking for yeah so let me explain so i totally um i kind of stumbled into this kind of career path of being you know forever undead um and you know to get to that point you really just need to know the right people but on my resume for this and i put it in my cover letter too you know like i'm really good at just like looming in corners mm -hmm. and like looking like <laughs> creepy but seductive at the uh, same time that's a really important skill yeah it's not something that they can really teach so you got to have it naturally yeah what up is the garlic thing like real no no we just thought that'd be funny so <laughs> let me explain <laughs> There is this guy named, uh, I think his name's like Tom or something. I don't know. Anyways, he comes from like way back. He's like super old and he was like fucking around in Italy. And he was like, you know, it'd be funny if they thought that that would protect them, but it just makes you taste really good. It's really good for your blood, actually. It's, it's a like blood tomatoes. thinner technically. So like, it makes it easier. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh. <laughs> Do, so whenever you like, different blood types how like what are the differences in the taste there like what kind of like notes are different yeah. in the various absolutely let me explain so like you know how there's the the a b and o they mm -hmm. like maybe like you, you, you combine them to <laughs> i hated myself for that i got it <laughs> i was like fuck but yeah, so you know, A has like a really, it's like the savory and then B is like sweet. O is like a wild card. It really depends on what you're eating uh, to like make that happen. And so like positive and negative, it really just, it affects, you know, like the consistency, weirdly enough. What's I'm more favorite? of a, I'm more of an O positive person just because, you know, it's, I don't know. You would be an so, Omega. <laughs> Amber, <laughs> coming oh through my, my throat again. <laughs> Submissive and bleedable. Oh, <laughs> oh fuck wow. you! <laughs> Put that on my epitaph. Oh, Submissive and believable. I know. Put that on a shirt. I Put know. That on Matt, a shirt. I need oh it. If someone added Super Dylan and said, "Hold on, this came up while we were playing," let me explain. <laughs> they would be so. Oh my God. They'd be a huge fan of that. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my God. God, if that's my legacy around here, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, popcorn. Uh, yeah, Matt. Oh boy. Got this. <laughs> I believe in you. <clears throat> oh, well, guys. Uh, I suppose it's time you found out. I'm a billionaire werewolf. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Another werewolf. Uh, wait. Do you become a billionaire when you become a werewolf? Uh, let me explain. So. I've been a billionaire this whole time. It's kind of like a fun thing that I do. People kind of write about it sometimes, but you know, when it happens, it's just, you know, I just try not to buy social media channels. <laughs> <laughs> why? No. So I understand why you're coming out to us as a, as a werewolf. 
why are you coming out to us as a billionaire? I feel it's like really problematic. We've known you for a while, and all. And I'm gonna be honest. I, I don't know if I speak for all of us here. It feels kind of shitty that you didn't <laughs> just tell us that. Okay, so let me explain. I I didn't want to tell everyone because I I'm sort of looking for my mate. And I gotta test him first. <laughs> what? I need more information. Oh, I don't know how to hold on. Questions. Wait a second. Monstrous. <laughs> what would you name your children with your mate? I don't know, Kyle, let me explain. That's not a terrible <laughs> name, I guess. I, I think I would be judged less, and they might not be suspected of being werewolves if they were named. Kyle, the billionaire heir, werewolf. <laughs> I'm open to Mason, maybe. <laughs> Are Wait. You adding any unnecessary like X's or like numbers into those names, or is it just is it straight normal stuff? Symbols, yeah. Uh, oh, let me explain. Okay, I'm a regular billionaire. You know, like. <laughs> <laughs> the only difference is one of those I may be a light character. That's the only difference. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. So does that mean you turn into a werewolf whenever you get a divorce? <laughs> <laughs> Let me explain. So that's only happened twice, okay? okay. <laughs> I was a billionaire the first time, not the second time, but I am again. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> Inflation. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's <Wow>. inflating? Economics. <laughs> uh, that is one kink crazy. we're not getting into on this channel. We're not getting into that one. We're not doing that one. I know you oh, heard me and jokes. went to one of your monster fucker novels. Oh, wait. Shit. Fuck. Hold on. I. All of my Bluetooth just disconnected. <laughs> Fuck. Please. Okay, wait. Hello? Hello? Mr. Obama, are you there? Can you hear me? No. Hello? I can't hear nobody. Hold on. Fuck me. Hold on. I feel like there's be jokes being made at my expense and I don't know what's being said. I'm just gonna keep fucking around until I can hear things again. Oh no. Oh no. People, uh, uh, okay. Hello, distinguished panel of judges. Can can you hear? Hello? Hold on. Oh no. Okay, I can hear y'all now. I can hear y'all now. They can't hear you. My headphones.
okay. But, uh, oh my god, I have no idea what happened. I know I hit the, uh, if you've seen those memes of, like, the tuba, uh, like, people with, like, the big tuba belts on their heads, uh, yes. and they have the instruments, I am one of those. I'm one of those memes, actually. I have a boss I team need... on YouTube. Okay, I, don't I know need you why. to show me that picture yeah, immediately. hold on. Let me, let me see if I can find We it. just I'll fixed the it. audio. I don't know what the heck happened. Hey. Okay, thank you. Hey. Hey. All right. Sorry, I, been I don't know what the, the fuck happened, time. but I, we were, I, we... yeah. We've been viciously insulting Chad. Viciously. <laughs> <laughs> well, I expect people to viciously insult me, so it's fine. No, <laughs> no, we would never. Absolutely, Absolutely not. not. No such slander against Amber. Wait, Unless... Kendo, you learned recently the difference between slander and libel. What's the difference? The difference is uh, the difference is that libel is written, slander mm -hmm. is spoken. Oh, right. good to know. So it is slander. No slander against Amber. Yeah. It rhymes. Yeah, well, yeah. It is yeah. a slight yeah. rhyme. <laughs> no, um, yeah, I don't know what happened. Sometimes my Bluetooth just fucks up, and usually it doesn't happen while I'm on stream. So, uh, well, at least it doesn't happen while I'm running a stream. So, okay. Um, what was happening? Matt was a. The the last thing I remember is Matt was wrapping up being a billionaire and then and oh. then I just blacked oh. out. Oh right. <laughs> so much happened. I blacked out. Like literally <laughs> there's like I have a memory gap. So amazing. Uh I've... yeah. What what did happen? <laughs> I totally forget. A bunch of us with no small attention jokes. spans. Oh like... yeah, I was doing party I think you I think you all could could see my, my hand. Puppetry. Like you did a little puppetry? Ooh. That was good. Yes. Sam Amazing. Steam. I, I blew uh, steam yep, out of my mouth. We learned silence. Some good science. Yeah, I, that hurts. It, it really hurts, like, right up here in your, in your mm -hmm. cheek. I, I never know which direction to turn. Um, and then I, I I was showing people that I'm a, a tuba meme. I, was I need to see it. You're it's a tuba in the meme? Discord chat. Yeah, you remember remember those tuba memes where people had like the tuba bells on their heads and stuff? <gasps> like twenty That's you? That is me, yes. Shut the fuck I, up. I... That image was says was such a big part of my life when it came up because all of my friends, of course, are band kids. Right. <laughs> yes. Just cycled through everyone. That wow. is me. In fact, uh that on my Right, that's my right hand. Is a it's a class ring that I would wear religiously, um, because I was into rings for like a period, and now I'm not. <laughs> so, <I don't> know. <laughs> wow, I'm meeting um, a superstar in my young life. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> <laughs> you were wow. famous amongst uh, my uh, marching band, so. <laughs> I'd like to be famous for, for something else though, but yeah, sure, sure. Are you sure, well, works. Are you sure tuba isn't isn't that that you're looking for? I know, right? Like Oh yeah, the subtitles you, you, were still going. Yeah, they were. Huh? Oh. Yeah, because it was going through y'all's microphones. That makes right. sense. Oh so it'd be a read along adventure of us being weird. <laughs> <laughs> so 
is this where I yeah I think that's a pretty natural point right Mm -hmm. yeah yeah because I don't have a character made up for this thing so I'll (laughs) I'll gladly say this is where we wrap up for the night so um yeah this has been a lot of fun I what a group yeah yeah seriously um this has been truly amazing honestly guys thank you so much all for agreeing to do this and going out on a whim on this um i loved this every second of this was great i don't um gm often so doing this was oh, wild i c- couldn't tell <laughs> you crushed you it fantastic. Oh. <laughs> you seriously you crushed it yeah <laughs> i don't know how to take compliments so just, just yes. take them accept yeah. them <laughs> here get we're giving them to you hand it delivered wonderful take the compliment <laughs> <laughs> um, introduction to the actual house itself was so poetic and lovely it really was yeah, yeah it was awesome i'm very um, much a writer so writing that was very reassuring <laughs> <laughs> all right i think as channel runner i will we'll like circle backwards so we'll start with Haley for it like here's how to find us and then we'll go back to sam and then we will raid into um a different channel so um Haley, who are you? What do you represent? And um, yeah. where can people find you? Totally. Well, hey, howdy, bye. <laughs> My name's Haley. Um, and uh, you can find me at Haley Ann on Twitter. Um, it is a lot of me screaming into the void, um, mostly about NASA and TTRPGs. It's very fun, very great. Um, but I am also a main cast member of Another Bad Side Quest. It is a dark gas lamp fantasy uh, D&D actual play that is now going to be, be released weekly on Fridays. But we also did release a mini series. Uh, Drake and Dice, a couple of Drakes, released a hack of Forge in the Dark that is Mechas in Space. So we did a five-part miniseries of uh, a bunch of mechas in space, which was super fun, called the Eden Song Chronicles. You can find that on our YouTube. Um, but yeah, that was super fun. Finale comes out tomorrow at 2 p.m. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Matt, where can people find you on the onlines? Oh, yes, I, uh, I'm on the internet. You can find... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm. D- <laughs> what the what? fuck? <laughs> it's on computers now. Uh, so yeah, hi, I'm Matt. Uh, you can find me as Dungeon Glitch on Twitter primarily. Um, yeah, I own Jim Firefly. I make uh, nerdy T-shirts, as we have referenced and requested. So Matt, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm be making shirts. And Wear blankets. cowboy. Yeah, I want to wear the wear cowboy. Do, uh, <laughs> someone said submissive and bleedable. Is that what I'm making? Yeah. Well, I'm sure. You'll sell at least one one copy of it. You can make with fame. Fame. With fame. With, yes. Yeah, no, I'll awesome. buy one. You can yeah. use code AMBER15 for 15% off your order at Gemmed Firefly. Yeah. Or Spontanium. Honestly, like or Spontanium 15. Or crazy. For, for thing you like. Yeah. <laughs> for thing you like. <laughs> Sure, with thing you like on it, yeah. Yeah, it's just, honestly, it's just, it's worth it just to see my friends wear stuff and stuff that I made. It, I don't, it's so fun for me. <laughs> so yeah, otherwise, I have a I have a music album called the uh, Bardic College Dropout, which comes out next Friday. Um, that's going to be lo-fi focus beats. If you're into that sort of thing, it's available anywhere that uh, you find music. Really. Um, Oh, I, want, I really want to put it on a vinyl. Oh, uh, that'd be so cool. I'm yeah, thinking about it. Dude. So maybe we'll see. Um, otherwise, you can find me and some uh, other amazing, talented people on the Ether Log. Which, uh, if you can imagine um, taking Arcane and Studio Ghibli and this high fantasy yet science sci-fi dystopia. That's our weird little world, and it is fantastic. And it's run by Sam, and I'm accompanied by Chrissy. So check it out. It's on Tuesdays. It's really fun. I play Gale. He's a snake shifter monk. I'm weird. Very weird. So it's really fun. (laughs) Thank you. Amber, this is fantastic. And Haley, amazing. I was just the host. Um, But 
but speaking of just being the host, hi everybody, I'm Amber, also known as the Space Jamber, here on Twitch. Wow, this is my Twitch channel, but also on Twitter and also TikTok. I know, Sam is so, like, <laughs> overwhelmed that we're on my channel. Oh my god. Um, I am a TTRPG writer, editor, podcaster, streamer, <laughs> all of the above. I, you know, you know, that's the thing. Um, I am currently writing uh, a Gator Folk Ancestry for Pathfinder 2nd Edition for the Monstrous Beasts and a Guide to friend them for Eldritch Osiris games. Uh, so please back that here. Oh wait, what says? Exclam exclamation point monstrous in chat where you can back that and if we unlock $10,000 on that uh, you know, so fucking you get my gator folk. Uh, so, um, oh my god, where to find me this week? Uh, not anywhere tomorrow. I'm gonna be drunk and watching Flavor of Love in my back bathtub tomorrow. You can't find me anywhere tomorrow. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> that's so specific. <laughs> it's true. I cleaned, I deep cleaned my bathtub yesterday so that I could like just set up and like put a bath bomb in and just have a good like Thursday. It's chef's kiss anyway um but on friday on friday you can find me at um going crit rpg where we are finishing up farewell yellow house it is a call of cthulhu um uh, a call of cthulhu game inspired by found family and uh the ties that bind um saturday i am on a panel wait kendo's on, on this panel with me Oh my god! I am for um I am. why your world matters uh which is going to be on Oh god, we're gonna retweet about it. I don't know who's actually hosting it. I still don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, so oh wait, funny. on f but also on Friday. Holy shit! I think we have a new episode of the Sky Realm, which is the D and D actual play yeah. stream that Sam and I are on. Um, and also, in s oh, fuck it. Uh, there's so much I have going on this weekend. If you're in Baltimore, come hang out at NoCom Beyond on uh, on Sunday. I'm running Rest in Pieces, which is a game by Imagining Games, the same folks that brought you Necrobiotic and Chew. Um, so come come hang out with me. Come hang out with Mitch from We the Tail. We're probably going to get way too drunk on Sunday. It's going to be great. So uh, thank you for hanging out. Um, thank you, Girls Around These Worlds. I also have a fun announcement for Girls Around These Worlds coming up in, in a couple weeks, but we're, we're, we're going we're gonna to ignore that. So bouncing over to Kendo. Uh, hi, I'm Kendrick or Kendo, whichever you prefer. Uh, you can find me everywhere on the internet at Kendo Makes Films. You can find my award-winning actual play podcast at Tales Yet Told on Twitter and Instagram and wherever you get your podcasts. Uh, we're, uh, there's a new episode, uh, episodes coming out, come out every other Wednesday. So this, up, not today, there was not a new episode today, but there's a new episode next week. And I'm very excited for it because it is uh, something I've never done before. Um, and so I'm just interested to see how it's gonna turn out. Uh, as far as that goes, uh, you can find my actual play stream over at twitch.tv forward slash nameless domain this upcoming Friday, November 4th at 7 30 p.m. Central Standard Time for us to play some tech noir. Uh, very excited for that. Right, go, go, go to the Twitters, go to Twitter. You can find all the information there. Uh, and uh, yes, I will be on the Why Your World Matters stream this upcoming Saturday uh, with Amber and other people who are equally <laughs> as good as Amber, but whose names I don't necessarily remember off the top of my head right this second. It's like Liz and Kaya. It, Hold on. Yeah, it's Liz, Kaya, you, me, Nathan and Damn. Hold so on. I'm in Discord right now looking really for really cool it. people. That's yeah, a, no, that's it's a all solid like squad. Super amazing wow. people that I'm like very excited to 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 be to be doing it with. Is it uh, is that it? I thought there was a sixth person. Sage, I, know there was I guess six Sage person. uh Sage is the yeah. sixth person, I guess. Steam Sage, yeah. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Steam Sage. Uh, it's going to be, I looked it up, it's on twitch.tv forward slash Steam Sage One. Uh, yes. So they're the, they will be the ones hosting it. Uh, and it is at uh, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So go check that out. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm going to pass on it over to Chrissy. Oh, hi. Hi, I'm Chrissy. Um, you can find me in pretty much all online spaces is Chrissy and Keller. I am in a few different things right now. Um, I am 
uh, in Etherlog, which comes out on Tuesdays with Sam and Matt over here. I play my necromancy rock star, Dami Mommy, Octavia. And Another I love her. That I have. Oh, God. I love I, that t-shirt. I adore that character. I can never play a dummy mommy with anyone else, especially not Amber. Amber breaks me every single time. They, they're like, no. This is, no. I, I regret every fucking day that I had to drop out of Etherlog. Like literally every fucking day. I'm just like, oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Um, anyway. So yeah, it's a, it is the only time you will ever see me play a dummy sort of character, um, and that's great. And then I'm also part of Twelve Sided Stories. We do we we jump between a few different games. Um, we did uh, the Blood We Spill, but now we're on to Delta Green. I'm not entirely sure what we're doing next. We're there. Um, Wes is going between a few different things that he wants to do after this. Um, so, but we'll be doing Delta Green for a few more weeks. And um, then I have got some other games that are coming up soon, but I don't know what I can talk about yet. So, um, oh, oh, I know I can talk about Oops All Monks. Um, mm -hmm. We recorded it a while back. So, uh, Carrie Smith's channel will be running Oops All Monks on the 15th or 16th. I can't remember which one of the two. I've got 15th written down, but for some reason, 16th in my head. Um, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'll, I'll play a very loosey goosey drunk monk in that. <laughs> Um, and yeah, um, but you can you can keep up with me and what I'm doing over on Twitter, and then all of my previous APs are listed on my handy dandy card. And then last but not least, Sam, the writer of this game. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much for playing my game. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm happy to be here. This was fantastic. Uh, Mario jump scare. I could do it. <laughs> Fuck you, Chris Pratt. Um, <laughs> <laughs> anyways. Oh, God. Um, this has been fantastic. Uh, my name is Sam Comerford. Uh, I am. I run. I do too much shit. I uh, I have I have a book called The Shitty Not Compendium with uh, 300 plus shitty ideas from role playing role playing, uh, which are illustrated. We're getting the physical copies out. I promise they're coming. I swear to God, I'm not. I've forgotten about them. It's just been and design is infuriating to me. <laughs> um, also, uh, the Etherlog. I run that. I have been working on that story for a long time. Uh, by a 22 year old's standards, but uh, <laughs> it, it, it's 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 really a passion project. I have put so much time into it. I really appreciate if you check it out. Uh, additionally, uh, I I run the role playing role playing Twitter account. I don't run the podcast. I am just in the podcast. Uh, that's a wild west, weird west D and D thing you should check out. Uh, also, the Sky Realm I'm in, um, and other projects I cannot yet talk about. Uh, and uh, Spontaneum, how can I forget? Uh, Spontaneum, which is a show usually on Tuesdays uh, where I don't know what the fuck is happening and I I have the cast roll for a setting and then we improv the entire game uh, and it is a whole lot of fun. Uh, typically I black out right after because of uh, the puppeteering of Robin Williams through my body is just kind of moving me like this. Uh, <laughs> and then he leaves and I'm like, Wah. uh, and then, yeah, that's basically it. That's all I do. I have won no awards, uh, but you know what? Yeah. Uh, you won the award <laughs> that, 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 and that's the yes. best. Thank you. I, well, I would like a real award though <laughs> at some point, but no, uh, I really appreciate everyone coming out and play. And uh, this is a great play test. Uh, props to Haley. This was fantastic. Uh, so Thank yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yay. All right. So I will do my standard outro for streams for me. So I just want to thank everybody here for you know putting together this amazing playtest of this game actually two playtests of games that we just yeah. decided last minute so thanks matt for that suggestion that was a lot of fun um uh yeah oh my god thank you all to everyone in chat for hanging out tonight this was a really wonderful way to spend a wednesday night but i just want to let everyone who's listening in chat anyone who can hear my voice that includes the people in the zoom call that i am proud of you for making it here today and i'm proud of you for making it here to today wednesday november 2nd 2022 you are wanted you are loved and you are needed and tonight it's by the were cowboy himself just the were cowboy um he loves you 
and he wants <laughs> maybe a little too much. He's, Only the worst. You're Ellen, his little buckaroo. Pretty quickly. <laughs> you're my little buckaroo. My six shooter shoots straight no matter what. I'll tell you that. <laughs> and we are going to holy shit. Who's still? Who's online? I was gonna raid into girls with the world these worlds, but they raided raid to us. So oh, oh fuck. No. I'm gonna kick it over to the initiative order. Um, yeah, I'm gonna kick it over to the initiative order because I love. Um, you know what? That's a channel that's like really up and coming, honestly. And I'm not just biased when I say that, um, because I'm in a game on there. Uh, there, they've got a lot of really cool people running it. Um, and uh, it's it's just a lot of really cool content. So we're gonna read into them. Thank you all so much for hanging out tonight, spending your Wednesday night with us. I know you have other stuff to do, but but thank you for being here. Um, and I just hope you all have a great Wednesday. Say bye, ghosties. Bye bye. Bye, bye. ghosties. Hold on. Why isn't <laughs> OBS letting me raid now? Hold on. Oh, wait. That's right. Because we have six seconds. Six, five, four, three, bye, two, one. Bye bye. <laughs> <For> two. <laughs> Hold on. Yay. Bye. 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 Right now. Come on. Oh my God. Why is my computer so slow? Okay. Bye. <laughs>